Welcome to Pippi's Very Convenience Store, which happens to be an abandoned convenience store located in the middle of the desert. You'll see it's fully stocked, but it's strange because it's run by a little bit of a robot friend here who has a secret stash of gold, also a cricket. Don't worry about the deep fryer. It's a little stinky. As long as you don't look at the gold, everything's gonna be fine. But you'll see our little friend Beauregard back there, the robot, is doing their best to run this store. But you better be careful. If you don't behave, you're not gonna like the results. Can you dig it? Hi everyone, Digga here, and welcome back to some more Animal Crossing. We're gonna have fun today. I really, really want to beat the story mode finally. <laughs> I have a few more houses left. I've been saying that for so many streams. Let's just go jump into it. Also, uh, if anyone's interested, I have a new reward redemption, of course. <laughs> this time, uh, I've been looking for what I want to do for, uh, you know, everyone has their first. I'm here first, right? I got here first. Well, I now have a uh, number one fan, a funny foam glove that's blue and full of love you can redeem. <laughs> oh, I, I did a little doodle. Um, it's, it's a little funny foam glove. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, that, that idea came from, uh, CC. Let me shout out CC real quick. A little, little shout out here at the start. Why not? So yeah, now, now I have a, a first redemption if you're interested. <laughs> oh, Leaf is here. Fantastic. Okay. Um, what do I want to do today? I think I can get to house number 28. I think I'm on 28. I... Really need to go back and figure out my total count here, because I don't know. Well, let's get started with that 5 p.m. music. You know it. Uh, we got a lot of stuff here because I haven't checked my mail in a while. Something from Goose. Interesting. Uh, the usual Happy Home Academy. Something from Winnie. Oh, let's get real, Dig Dog. Let's get real. Here, here's a little. Get some pep in your step. Uh, Katrina sent the. Um, hopefully, it's a new Zodiac bauble. Digger, patron of the arts. Behold, the noble bumblebee. Honeybee, even. Let me get my bees right. How embarrassing that would be if bee saw that. There's no way. There's no way. There's my rotten turnips. I got a little bit of cleaning up to do. It is another power stone. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's how we're starting off, huh? All right, cool. Cool, great. Uh, an outdoor bench? What does that have to do with putting some pep in your set? Well, maybe she gave me the bag. It's fine. Um, let's see here. Uh, looks like there is a hidden fossil to the left. Really? Okay. Right in my front yard. I see Rolf's over there ready to tell me all about how I haven't talked to him in a week. As always. You're finally here for the Hades stream. Hi, Lettuce. Welcome. We're chilling today with, uh, yeah, this is definitely Hades. This is definitely Hades. Wait a second, this isn't Hades, oh no! <laughs> also, Lettuce, you'll notice, if you look at your name in chat, you have a little Bulbous Boy icon right next to your name because I finally figured out, after all of the- what is Portia doing? Don't water me. After all of these months of wondering what I want to do for my bit badges, I've had the plush toy versions of my channel redemptions staring me in the face the entire time. Why do you have the pink diamond? Because you are also a VIP. That's right. You've been supporting me since day one, and I gotta reward you for it. Thank you very much. Such a good friend. You were watching Final Fantasy when no one else was. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What a, what a portfolio of a name. It was just you, yeah. You and me against the world, Lettuce, and now look at us. Now you got a diamond, you have a jackhammer badge, and a bulbous boy. What a portfolio, if I do say so myself. Why do I feel off-center? Hold on. Why? The dragon's still waiting for me? Oh no. <laughs> for context for anyone who's watching. Um, I my, One of my first early streams was all of Final Fantasy VI, and I did not fight the dragons. I got pummeled very brutally with extreme prejudice. Uh, I'll leave the, the bee in my uh, pack in case B shows up, because that'd be a funny prank. Like, oh, I'm sorry, B. You're already here. <laughs> I already have you in my inventory. Man, I, I'm... That was so long ago already. Freaking 
2020 for Final Fantasy VI. Those dragons are just gonna keep waiting and waiting. Well, here's the part of the stream where one of my villagers wants to move out. Get, let's get it over with. Nate. Nate. Nate, my dude. What are you even doing? Why are you trying to leave in front of everybody? It's almost like I don't expect this to happen, but it happens every time. I have to, like, pretend I'm surprised. Like, oh, I am making new content as a streamer. <laughs> well, I mean, that I guess that is true also. That is, Goose, you good? You got that? I don't think so. Tell me how uh, I haven't talked to you in so long. You haven't been dodging me, right? I may be swole, but I'm not slow. <laughs> I feel strangely off-center today. I don't know why. There's something about my positioning in the direction of the table and my mic that feels like it's an, an inch off. You know that feeling when you know that something's a little bit amiss? Did I uh, jump world lines or something? Uh, Rolf is just a little bit upset. It's fine. It's all good. It's all gravy. We're just doing some dailies before we go design some houses. Um, thank you, Kurlos. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Um, because, as I've been saying for all of the past millions of streams, I am getting close to beating Happy Home Paradise, finally. But this time I mean it, for reals. Like, I'm on house 27 or 28. I was checking. Yeah, I get 30. Buongiorno, yeah, as, um... As Kurlos likes to say, buongiorno means great journo. Yeah. Good, good, good job, Carlos. You really, you really nailed it. Really speak in uh, very fluent other languages there. Um, I should shove this in my pocket, in my actual pocket. Um, what is in here? Nice branch. Anyone want a nice branch? You thought it was pasta sauce, but no, no. I'm, I'm sorry, lettuce. It's a great journal. Unfortunately. Don't you know? Anyway. Let's see. Uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to do two houses today or just one? I'm always conflicted because, as usual, my houses take 45 minutes to an hour to make. But I'm very close. For reals this time. I'm not hamming it up. I am going to beat Happy Home Paradise no matter what happens in this crazy world. You can bet your bottom dollar that we'll see the ending. You can bet it at a high price. All right, cool. Let's get a little peek around. Just kind of groove into the, um, you know, 5 p.m. music. The best song in the game. Very nice. Let me just clean up my mess back here. Tidy. Okay. Oh yeah, Lettuce, uh, do you want to be first? I have a new redeem um, if you want to be first. You can have the honor. You can have the privilege before anyone else notices. It's your call. Do you want to be the hero? You can be first, yeah. If you're fast enough, if you quickly click on the redeems and you spend that, Lettuce is number one, woo! Nice job. You are the first first. Not only were you the first, uh, first on my streamer stream, but you're the first first in this stream. Isn't it poetic? Isn't it poetic? That's the one. You're number one, buddy boy. That's right. It's like poetry. It rhymes, you know? This is definitely totally an engineered moment. Totally. You can't make something like this organically. A boingoid. Okay, cool. Very fun. Yeah, I, w I was always... Let me clean this up real quick. I was always trying to brainstorm what to do for, like, a first. Or, or if, if maybe, like, first is annoying. But at, at the end of the day, it, it's actually pretty fun. I've been... Um, my friends uh, have firsts on their streams, and I always try to grab it. <laughs> what was that fire hydrant doing under the dirt? Um, we don't ask those kind of questions. The gyroids are mysterious beings that came from the rain. And they bounce around. 
Yeah, welcome to 2005. Hey everyone, I'm first. Look at me. Look at me. I'm first. Look, look at me. Look at me. I'm first. Hi. Remember forums? Who remembers forums? Shout out to, uh, shout out to forums. Crusty. Archaic. But still kind of useful, though, sometimes. Sometimes after a busy day, you don't have time to miss a Twitter scroll. Because if you miss that one piece of news, you're toast. Like, your social rank is going down. Everyone else is going to know when you're not going to. I know some people that, um, let me, let me fix my shovel really quick. I know some people that have, um, like, RSS feeds of forums so they can just scroll through the new stuff. Which is fascinating. Well, I mean, for my stuff, what I do is I have, like, RSS, uh, Twitter to RSS, um, readers for Discord and whatnot, and... It's not the same, though. It's totally not the same. Because there are people who will look at the whole list of all of the new threads through the entire forum they're looking at, and that's a lot of effort. RSS on forums is a choice. It really is, Lettuce. It really is. I ignore that everyone else is telling me that they haven't seen me in a while. I'm, I'm just... I just gotta say hi anyway. It's part of my... Pink froggy chair. It's part of... My Animal Crossing experience, I have to talk to everybody, which is also my curse because I love talking to people. You gotta say hi, but sometimes all they say back is, um, dude, where you been? Where you been? Why'd you leave? You have obligations besides playing the game every day a week. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I missed a... Little sneaky patch back here, no big deal. It's all good. Keeping an eye out for, um, Gullivar, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. J I'm just kind of chilling through my dailies as always. It's very therapeutic. It's it's very nice to... Oh, Winnie's making something. It's really nice to just, you know, chill out, zone out for a bit. Well, not zone out. I'm actually paying attention. Don't, don't worry, Chad. It's fine. Been so busy. Uh, what you making? Mushroom pizza! I'm pretty sure I got that day two of when the recipes came out, but this might be a different pizza? I got a lot of mushroom stuff. I don't know. Yeah, there. okay, I already have it. It's fine. It's all good. Another uh, pizza to stow away in the uh, annuls of history. All right. Let's see here. Cap'n chillin' as always. Um, there is a gyroid piece that floated up to the front. I keep forgetting to check for those, but it's not a big deal because I'm pretty sure I have every single gyroid by this point. Maybe not color, but I have a plethora, an insane amount. Speaking of, here's another one. <laughs> Why not? J just, just keep giving me all the gyroids while we're at it. Sure. I'll take them. Buy them at a high price. Okay. Who keeps burying the fire hydrants? You don't understand, Lettuce. Sometimes you need emergency access to flames else to, to, to quench the flames. Here is a giant elephant. Sometimes you just need like an interconnected underground network of hydrants. You know, I, I'm not going to question it. They got funny names like the, uh, the Waroid and the Boyoyoingoid and the, the Sproingoid. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's also a fair point, too. <laughs> Though, I probably wouldn't, you know, talk to the dog villagers about that. It's kind of rude. A little personal there. A little, little, uh... Spoiled turnips. Gosh darn, I gotta... <laughs> I didn't even sell them. That's the funny part. That's the greatest part, is that I literally didn't even sell them. I forget to do something? Hold on. Let me double check really quick. Ah, I did. I forgot to hit the enter button on something. Good. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. It's hard balancing if you want to post your stuff everywhere, or if you just want to say you're going live in a few places. Oh, man. You don't want to be... Ooh, these are nice. You don't want to be, like, the person that self-promos in every Discord. 
But at the same time, you want to know your you want your friends to know you're doing stuff and you want them to join in and it's fun, but you also don't want to be that person. I don't know. I'm I'm new to all this. Don't look at me. <laughs> oh, the racing helmets. Nice. I already have those, though. The struggle is real. Um, who do we want to summon today for the cafe? Uh, as usual, I will do an amiibo card summon if anyone has a request from anything from series one, maybe something from two, three, and four, and most of the stuff from five. I'll be more than happy to accommodate. I do have my binder next to me full of cards. If you would like to see a villager, if you would like to see... Oh, this is new. If you'd like to see an NPC, a ranch cupboard. I love the ranch stuff. I'm really glad it came back. 4900 is nothing. Nothing to me. Nothing. Cool, that's it. I think I might be deciding the card myself tonight, but that's okay. I will choose someone interesting. For a grand old time. All right, cool. Uh, pardon me, Nate. I'm freaking leaving on my stream. You saw ranch cupboard and immediately thought, why would you make a cupboard out of ranch? Well, you see, Lettuce, what happened was people went a little stir crazy waiting for the Mexican pizza to come back at Taco Bell. I mean, the lines are nuts. The pizzas are out of stock. And so the next best thing they could do was just cover a cupboard in ranch and sell it to everybody. I say hi, Redemption. Hi, Whispers. How's it going? Welcome to the Digga stream. Do you have a request for an Animal Crossing amiibo card we can scan? You can choose anything from series one, some of series two, three, or four, anyone from series five for the most part, and I will summon them to the roost and we will check them out for today. That's a lot of pressure to to, to put on. <laughs> yeah, just lurking. <laughs> That's totally cool. I, I know there's a lot of streams going on right now. Do I have Punchy? You know what? Uh, what number is Punchy? I'll, I'll check for you. Let me not put the burden on my own chat. Punchy. Punchy card amiibo. I want to say I have Punchy. Um, Punchy is... Yeah, Series 1. I definitely have Punchy. That is... I think Punchy was number 6... 50! Wow, what a perfect number. Let me get punchy really quick then. Sorry, let me let me drink my coffee while I switch my binders because I have two binders. My series one binder is my happy home designer bundle. Bundle? Binder. The flavor's out of this world. I'm losing it right now. Let's open up to punchy. Let's see. You don't know much about Animal Crossing, you're just like punchy good cat. That's totally fair. Check it out. In my binder of magic, you will see. An amazing kitten. It's punchy. Let's get punchy. I like punchy too, Whispers. Uh, if Bob wasn't my favorite villager of all time, punchy would be um, probably my favorite cat. Because I, I had punchy in uh, my GameCube game, but I've had Bob in almost all of my Animal Crossing games. Naturally, organically, he's been on my islands for the most part. Here comes the boy. Hello, boy. It's Punchy. We're gonna summon Punchy today. Cool. You've reached the Amiibo call center. Let's scan Punchy. Ta da That's not an Amiibo. I need to center it better. Here. <clears throat> Pro controller, would you like to read Punchy, please? I will show the camera. Everyone look. It's punchy. I'm not just a silly Billy. I know how to do this. I've been scanning Amiibo since day one. Let's bring punchy in. Let's go. We're gonna chill out and have a good time. Thank you for waiting. We've contacted punchy. Please wait for punchy's arrival. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Punchy looking a little uh, chilled out right now. How's it going? This place is so cool. Just gotta do the coffee smells. There he is. There's the boy. <laughs> With that really nice sort of like flannel shirt. Look at that. Gotta take out the trash. Have a good rest of the stream. Remember that Rossetti knows what you did. Thank you, Lettuce, for stopping by. 
Much appreciated. Enjoy that little bulbous boy by your face, by your icon. <laughs> the amazing cheer badges. Yeah, let me just uh, pat myself on the back. Oh, you did so great finally putting those plush toys of your channel routines <laughs> that you should have done months ago. <laughs> Woo! Hi, right, Punchy. Enjoying the coffee smell? I've been following it from island to island. Aw. Only have coffee, but we want to do some snacks. I mean, technically, Brewster does have, like, a biscuit that he gives you. But Punchy probably doesn't have that friend level yet, you know? Bag of favorite potato chips? I mean, do you walk into a Starbucks with just, like, a, a party pack of Lay's pickle chips or something? <laughs> Is that what you do? I won't judge. I mean, that, that's totally cool. They probably assume you came from the grocery store next door, but at the same time, there was a... You know, a Starbucks inside the grocery store, so they don't quite know why you leave there to come here, but they don't question business. Oh, I was really nervous. Oh. What if you meant to invite some other cat named Punchy? Oh man, Punchy, it's okay. It's a little too real. It's a little too real. Oh. I think that might be most of the dialogue, but we'll check. We'll check. At first, I was real jealous of this cafe, then I remembered that I own a toaster oven, which is just as good? Excuse me? Uh, that's not... You can't... You see, when the cup goes inside... You know what? I'm not gonna spoil Punchy's fun. You're right, Punchy. Who am I to judge you? If you want to put coffee in your toaster oven, which I'm pretty sure is an electrical hazard, feel free to go ahead and do it. Dicket does not condone the certain action he's just exposed to about and don't talk about it. You don't want to be careful and you don't want to put the water in when you try to put it in the electrical machines, you don't want to but that's blah 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 blah. That that's my uh fast disclaimer. <laughs> don't put <laughs> don't I do not condone putting electronics with water and vice versa. Or coffee. Don't do it. Okay, that's cute. Eh, maybe one more for the road. A lot of fanciness going on here. The fancy airport. Oh, yeah, I remember the fancy dialogue, because, um... You know, we've covered this endlessly, but um, in Animal Crossing, all the villagers have uh, specific archetypes, and they all have kind of the same dialogue pool, depending on which one they are. I think the last... Did I invite Punchy before? I don't think so. If I had any secrets, I'd be worried about spilling the beans and my secrets. Huh? Yum, yum, yummy. Okay, cool. Uh, anything else? No, I think we maxed out our uh, punchy dialogue for today. Let's um, let's get a nice little picture here, I guess, while we're on the subject. How's it going? Look at that vacant stare. Not a care in the world, just enjoying life as it comes. Though, uh, unfortunately, there are no snacks provided, so uh, Punchy's a little reluctant to return. Oh, there you go, Whispers. Punchy joined in. Punchy is amazing. Now we're done of dailies. And we're going to go work on some houses, or probably just one house. Because it takes me so long to make houses. Uh, Portia, you don't want to leave too, do you? Here's an idea. How about I visit? Portia, I respect your opinion. I'm glad you like hanging out, but you pop in at the end of every stream. I just think the door's left open. Maybe I need a little bit of time away? I apologize. I'll hit you up next time. No one can be at 100%. 24-7, you know, sometimes you gotta give people their space, you gotta respect their privacy. That part's not a sometimes, that goes above the, the, the first sentence. But, anyway. Let's go make a house or two tonight, probably just one. I'm going to work. Let's go. I will use this air travel time to put Punchy's amiibo card away. Number 50. Dun 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 dun. 
Let's see here. There's a very distinct smell that comes from this binder. It's like, it's like the encapsulated scent of a 2014, not 2014, when did the Amiibo cards come out? It's like a 2016 or 17 Best Buy. I don't even know what that means. But that's, uh, that's what it gives me. Anyway, let's get to work. I do see a few friends already, but we have to start our work first before we can decide on who we want to make a house for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. I should hydrate. Thought the lid was gonna come off for a second there, so my life just flashed before my eyes. I'm sorry, is that a katana? No, that's um that's a fencing sword. That's a practice sword, yeah. No, that's an actual sword. Okay, now that the, the pixels have revealed themselves. Mmm. I think I need to buy the sword, chat. Is this... I, I think this is a good investment. I'm gonna spend $81,000 on a sword. Why not? I can't afford not to! Alright. Let's get to work. Did you spend 81 grand on a sword in front of chat? Yes, I did. Are you gonna be that person? <laughs> you gonna... <are> you gonna... <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Let's see who we're gonna help out tonight. What sort of prompts do we have today? I want a place where they can just keep bringing me bread that might just be a cafe. Um, a green room. Again, the green rooms aren't super enticing. A swim club? We literally had... We literally had a prompt that was, here's the pool. Like, uh, I did... Who's, whose house was it? I did say I would show off all my houses at some point, because there's there's some I didn't do on stream. Um, I literally did... I guess I'm showing them off now. A lifeguard's lodgings. Okay, well, technically that was supposed to be where the lifeguard, like, store stuff, I guess, but... Th th I made a pool. Th this is the pool I made. I made this. Th th those bodies... Don't worry about it. They're swimming. They're swimming. It's all good. It's all good. Totally. So maybe not that prompt. Uh, what do we have here? Um, I see myself in a hut on a big mountain of fresh air. A place to feel the prairie winds. What is this doing here? Oh, um, I remember last time they said they were adding more props and stuff for the party that's gonna happen. So I guess they tossed out the moss balls and they're gonna glow at night. I want my own rockin' amphitheater for music. That's kind of cool. That might work. Oh, and they put out like the um, the light palm trees and stuff. That's cool. Oh man, look at the party is coming together. My gosh, they even have the balloons. Oh man, this is gonna be great when I finally finish and we get to party. I think we unlock a bunch of really cool new stuff as well. Let's go inside Tropic Cool and see what kind of other prompts we have to work with? Because uh, I'm not really feeling the first batch so far, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I see the Tropical is very packed tonight. Um, I want to feel like I'm right on the cusp of danger. Okay, okay, that's a cool prompt. I know last time I did a uh, an alien cyborg house, but danger, danger is a very strong contender. A supper club? Okay. I, I don't... Do you know where you are? I'm just asking because uh, you may notice you have an exclusive reservation to Tropicool, only the hottest restaurant around. Do you not see here that there is a lot of fancy food like french fries? Okay, maybe... Maybe... Maybe they came in here under the, the premise that... Um, this was gonna be a really fancy joint and we just gave them like a, a bunch, like a, a big stack of fries. I, that's understandable, but y you see, this place, Tropical, is a very upscale, elegant restaurant. And you, you come to me? And you want something better? An exclusive supper club? You want like a Club 33? That's the, uh, the super rare Disneyland, uh, you, you gotta spend like hundreds of, tens of thousands of dollars to get in. You have to know someone who knows someone who knows someone who knows the maitre d', who knows the waiter, 
who knows someone in the Disney family to get in. That's a good prompt, actually. We got some good contenders here. Convenience stores. I love them. They're so convenient. You know what? It might be a toss up between convenience store and danger. That's very, very tempting. I'm very interested by what we have to work with today. Let's get our recipe first. Cherry jam. I think I have most of the jams by now. But this might be new. I think there's a few recipes I still have to uh, actually craft that I've just been leaving in the background. Uh, something from Vesta here. Let me just need to cough really quick. Vesta. Glowing Moss Ruins while I already have that. Cherry Jam. That apparently is new. Cool. I got some stuff to craft then. Nice branch. And the pizza we have already. I, I gotta clear my inventory a little bit. Okay. So our prompts so far that are looking really good are uh, Danger. Ooh, Danger's really good. But I feel like that could be either... That might be too generic. But convenience store could be really fun. I mean, I guess in the same way a convenience store is literally just here's three aisles and you're done and you use the convenience store wall. Is that is that how it's gonna go? <laughs> is it gonna be that basic? No way. I need to make it exciting. How do you make a convenience store interesting though? You know what? Maybe it could be like in Japan where they have themed shops, though there's not really much of a selection. I guess. I'm thinking more like uh, like a JoJo Cafe or a Kirby Cafe, but... Convenience store? I mean, there's like Cup Ramen... Uh, the, the Ramen Museum has like its own convenience store. Uh, there's like a Coca-Cola place. Um... Oh no, chat. Chat. Chat, we hit the toilet prompt. Chat. Okay. Do I take the upper road? Do I ignore the toilet prompt? Because this is this is a moment he's reading KK. This is a moment in Happy Home Paradise and everyone's career where you see the toilet prompt and you think why? First of all, why? Second of all, do I want to do it? I know a lot of people would say, yes, I want to do that immediately. Ha ha, funny. Th that's that's not the kind of humor I go for personally, but there's something about the toilet prompt that is, is very open-ended, mysterious. Dare I say dastardly? The plant's boring. <laughs> that's so rude. Rock and roll. Can you imagine that? Like, you, you earnestly want a house with plants in it. And then the home designer laughs in your face and says, I've done that 50 times. Can you imagine how rude that would be? Never. Just personally, it's not, I, I, the, I don't know how to make the, how the plants look super exciting. Okay. Well, I might follow my heart here. Because, let's get you options really quick. So, for a danger room, I've kind of already done that a few times. I've done rooms that are dangerous. I've never done a convenience store, but a convenience store... Let's see here. Okay, convenience store... You use the shelving. That's what, it's. There's a name for it. There's like a convenience store wall. You have three aisles. Maybe a claw machine. That's it, right? Danger room. Danger could be really interesting. There could. There's a lot of possibilities, but at the same time, I've already used all the dangerous stuff in other places. Well, we've had this conversation. This ends up looping around every single stream. <laughs> um, there's also the supper club, I guess. Well, I guess the option's been chosen for us because we can't reach either of the people who we wanted to help. Maybe if I leave and come back again? <laughs> it's just... The game's like, no, you only get... No options now. You have to go with someone else. Totally cool. Let's flop back in. And see if maybe, just maybe, we'll get a good prompt. 
or I mean have access to the prompts. Okay, convenience store. Can't reach danger this time. Oh, I can reach from here. But I can't talk to them. Yeah, the, the inherent flaw of Trompa Cool. A room full of danger. What could that entail? I mean, I've already done a try. You know what? I'm, um, it's not going to be exciting, but I'm going to make a convenience store. I'm going to decide on that now, and I'm not going to double check, double guess. We're going to help Pippi make a convenience store. Because I've had enough of danger and madness, even though it's really, it's really good. Though, uh, something about making a convenience store is telling me uh, that maybe I should do two floors, but that's gonna take forever. Oh, hi, MK, welcome. Welcome, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm, ve I'm very enthusiastic in my welcome today. <laughs> a very convenient store. So we're making a convenience store for Pippi. You return from cleaning the pool and picking up Chinese food. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. I'm gonna try to make this convenience store interesting. I'm gonna try to make it stylish in a way. Like I, I want, I want people to come in after you know their busy day of work, stop by, maybe play some games and stuff. But I don't want to spend uh, two hours on one house, so I'll keep it one floor. Uh, what's a good convenience store location? Somewhere that's like accessible. Not the docks. Maybe it's one of those tiny, um, one of those tiny businesses on a small deserted island full of, um, well, it's not deserted. Uh, a, a slightly less inhabited island of, like, 500 people. And you have to go there for, like, some... Mm hmm, there's, this could be, like, a paradise. No, that's too generic. Um, what's the theme you want to go for here? A convenience store, but it has to be, like... Do I want to just do, like, the open plains? Horror? Well, you see, that's the other thing, MK. I just passed up a danger prompt. Uh, I think... Was that Biff? No. Um, whoever that hippo was, they wanted a danger house. But I've done too many, like, skeleton, spooky horror, danger house places. I wanted to just get something regular for once. How about a, a convenience store in the desert? Yabe! hi -yay. Let's do a de desert, desert ed convenience store. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, I don't know if I can make it like dangerous, but desert convenience store is a very good, that's also a good horror prompt, you know? We're tying it together here. The loose threads of an idea from a very basic concept are weaving together into a fabric of a design here. Yeah, it, it only sells water or it sells only salty food in the desert. That's great. One level home, please. Okay. Ooh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a really cool... Pro okay, okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the creative juice is flowing. Let's get some hydration. Let's get hydrating. This is gonna be a convenience store in the desert. On the top of like a mountain or something. Uh, I wish there was a way to uh, have better, uh, well, not better, more interesting outer house shapes and whatnot, because you can't really make a convenience store. I mean, you can, like, technically do, like, a basic house, but that's it's not... I mean, I guess I could kind of make it look abandoned-ish. Maybe? I, I don't know. It's got to be, like, like all sandy and washed up and stuff. Uh, uh. This just looks like a regular house. Hmm. Giddy up. G welcome. Fossil. No, I don't know. As usual, not, not really a whole lot of inspiration at the very start. I don't know that reference, MK. Sorry. Oh yeah, the skull. Duh! Duh, the skull! I'm gonna go outside. IRL. And we'll never talk about that. How I messed up. An active air fryer? Ugh. I mean, I have some ideas for, like, the basic cacti and stuff. I guess we can start tossing those out. Surely, um, well, I have access to everything. 
So I, I, I should be able to grab it from... Not the plant section. It's buried in the house where somewhere there's a cactus. Somewhere in here, there is fake vegetation that is real. Probably with the plants. There we go. Get some cacti. There's no room. I mean, I guess I can go down here. Oh, I see. Okay. It's a it's a play on um not not the brand brands, like the the like the discount stuff. I get it. Also, I need to remember to fix the house because that's the reason why I came out here. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. What is that color? Whatever. I didn't know that had a different coloring to it. It's like a Pokemon skull. <laughs> All right. Now, how do we want to make this deserted convenience store? What was that beep? Bidding, bidding. Can you not turn off the air fryer? There we go. Okay. No, nope, never mind. Whatever. I guess it's, that's that's gonna be uh, popping the whole time. That's cool, I suppose. Um, how do we make this look abandoned? You can't really, can you? I guess. Okay. I, I have a plan. I have a plan. So there's like a storefront item. There's a storefront. I'll use the light wood. There's a storefront item that I can grab somewhere in the housewares. I think that's probably gonna be down below. Um, past, um... Down toward this area, yeah, where all the machines and stuff are. Stacked shopping cart baskets. Oh, uh, man, I, I, I have so many ideas. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna make this interesting. Skull, uh, skeleton will put outside, I think. I know I've used it a lot, but as we've talked about, you gotta keep using stuff. You have to. You gotta reuse everything. Where's the storefront? I know it's down here somewhere. There is bugs. There's a storefront hidden down below. Uh, maybe like have a fire in the middle somewhere? I don't know. There's a storefront that I can use for a backdrop outside. Where's the storefront? There's the wagon. Something tells me we should just be outside right now. Again, I literally, I keep jumping back and forth between these ideas. I gotta make a decision here. This might be the house where um, a lot more stuff happens outside, but there's not a lot of room because of the place I chose. It's okay. Um, gosh darn it, I have to go all the way back down to my wagon. Where's the wagon? Wagon? Hello? Okay, skull, basic. Let's get, let's get the, the generic stuff out of the way first. We gotta have the skull. We gotta have a uh, sandcastle. Some like termite mounds for mountains. Um, Maybe a cave, but I've used it a lot. I, I gotta get over that. I really have to get over that. Where, where's my wagon? There's my wagon, cool. We'll put the poor pioneer back here and have the wagon in the back because he didn't make it. He didn't make it, it's fine. Pour one out. F's in chat. Uh, I guess we'll keep it light brown. Uh, maybe move it into the middle so you can't really see. Oh no. Oh, it's so edgy. Um, was there like a tumbleweed? Uh, I want to make this off center so it has an interesting pattern to it. So it's a little bit like a mountain range, but not quite. Maybe toss a few up front. Yeah, that, that's that's an interesting design. Now, how do we spice it up? Where's the scorpion? I'm gonna get my scorpion real quick. Uh, scorpion? Where are you at? You're not in the photos. I know you're up here somewhere by the bugaboos. There it is, yeah. Get that scorpion going. Heck yeah. Okay. That's good for now. I don't know how to make outside more convenience store looking, like a welcome sign maybe, but I need to focus on the interior right now. Let's go ahead and bump this up to a, uh, a long direction, but maybe keep it um, eight. 
Because we want to have, uh, like, back-to-back -back shelving, I think. But not too much. Because I think what we want to do to make this abandoned is have the ground be sand. And then we'll, we'll have a few little touches in the center somewhere, like some decrepit uh, craziness. I don't know. Maybe a scarecrow, I guess. Um, let's get that started first. Now, for the wallpaper, as I was saying earlier, there is a, uh, like, a generic... Well, it's not generic. There, there's, like, a... A supermarket wall, right? Or a frozen foods wall. So this this is... Neat and all. There's a lot of peanut butter. There's a lot of chips and crackers and goodies and... Someone who was making this room would probably just toss that on and call it a day. Maybe, um, maybe include the frozen foods freezer wall as a backing. Maybe even a concession stand wall, I guess, if you're interested. But that's not going to be my style. I have a much better plan. Straw. That's not very exciting. Um, I wanted to capture the decrepitness of this, um deserted desert grocery store and maybe toss in like a stone backing or something something that doesn't clash restaurant wall i mean that kind of looks good though kind of looks interesting it has to be something that looks like it could have been what was the actual design for the store that just kind of faded over time you know with no, uh, no upkeep. Yeah, um... Let's see here. I think that might just be good for now. Oh, the gray shelving! This, yeah, that, that, that completes the, uh, the sort of, like, basic look pretty nicely. I was thinking of maybe having, um... I don't know some other stuff on the wall as well. We'll get to that. But I want to go straight to the desert sand flooring. Ooh, the oasis. Oh, that's gunky. I, that, there's a lot of drip in there. Uh, I want to go straight to like the... Um, not really a beach, right? Uh, my bias for dirt flooring is probably uh, very tempting. Field flooring? I want to be able to capture... Like, over time, the ground eroded, I guess? And that lended itself to, um... Not having much to work with anymore. And I can put little props everywhere. Let's let's stick with the, uh, the beach for now, because when I turn the lights off... I think I'll keep it dim. I won't do any special, like, light theming. I'll just have it down. Um, we'll keep the windows, because the windows did exist. And then just kind of... It's almost like a survival. Looking location. We're gonna have uh, the counter here, I suppose. We can have the the bugs to the left. Why is the fryer still going after all these years? That's so weird. Maybe we had an adventurer like who came through here, and there's just been like a smoke and flame the whole time. This is very interesting. Okay. Table wise, hmm. I'm going to hydrate real quick. Table-wise, what do I want to do here? I want to have something that I can... Basically, just something to put the, um, the, the cash register on. Maybe after, like, decades of this deserted desert um, convenience store being, you know... What's the term? Pilfered? You know, all the passing pioneers coming in, stealing stuff. Maybe there's just, like, a propped-up box or something. Let's see what the tables have to offer. Oh, there is the retro transportation stop. I don't think you can... Actually, I, you, I think you could put something on that, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, we can have it be damaged. Is there, um... There's not really any other interesting patterns to do for that. Yeah, there we go. I think... I think you should be able to put something on it. 
No, never mind. Um, do I want to just have like, like a barricade here? It's kind of weird. But I mean, I guess it's interesting. Could I maybe put this like, if I have it facing that way, can I have this be the backing? I kind of like it. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, because then it looks like you can, you can see the provisions through the peaky center. Maybe someone took up refuge here. Why is this becoming like a zombie movie? <laughs> this is just like the most apocalyptic looking uh, store you've seen this side of Animal Crossing, but there's just a fryer in the middle of the sand, I guess. I mean, I like this. I think if I, if I turn this around and just kind of like keep the shelving going, this could be very interesting. Um, making sure to, of course, alternate the stock. I wish there was an empty one. That'd be a little more fitting, don't you think? Maybe I can turn it around. No, it's it's, it's off center. It's it's cool. Maybe we could have different. Um, I keep changing the color here. Different stock depending on the row. Let's see. How about... Um... What's a good plan here? I'm trying not to make all of my houses 10 by 10, or, you know, the, because they're the max size, um... As much as it lends itself to being more creative... Sometimes it's more fun to restrict yourself, you know? You want this to be, like, a realistic-looking, uh, apocalyptic grocery store. If that even means anything to anyone. <laughs> Where do I put this fryer? I don't know. Um, do I just... Do I want to have, like, an alcove here? See, my plan would be, if I could have this as the front, you would pay here. There'd be, like, a little slit that you could put your money through. Otherwise, the store clerk might, um, you know, have to track you down, take you out. This became very dangerous very quick. Maybe I could still have that work as an idea? Let's give it a shot. Is there a one by one that's tall? I remember for um, for convenience, not convenience stores, for, uh, for vending machines you could put stuff on the top. I think if I find like um, a cabinet, I could probably repurpose that one by one as like a really high up... Cash register? Does that even make sense? Maybe? Let's give it a shot. Yeah, I don't even know how that works. I think I'll just keep it as a smaller table, but... Um, is there, like, a decrepit smaller table? Probably not. Decrepit. There's nothing scarier than the bunny day table, that's for sure. How about the turkey day garden stand? Does that turn, uh, darker brown? Spring greenish. No, it kind of looks out of place, doesn't it? It, it? This has to be a little more rustic. A little more basic, like this small cafe table. Which actually looks a little too modern, but um, I don't think there's much of a choice here. Because there's a friggin', you know, frying machine over here. A deep fryer. I, what, do I keep saying air fryer? I got air fryers on the mine. Actually, the outdoor folding table might be nice. Yeah, that, that's looking a little more blending in with the rest of it. I say is there's um, this giant, like, silver machine that's all modern. How is it still here? How does this even make sense? I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on. Um, so we could have this be, like, a little entranceway... Um, actually, maybe you have to pay to get in. That's a weird idea. Like, yeah, um, well, if they were peeking in through the, the slits at the top, I don't, there's not really much defense on this side. Maybe I can put something on the wall to, to block it off. When did this become abandoned? When did it shift from abandoned to suddenly this is like a safe house run by three people 
who provide beans to travelers who journey by, but only if you're not a zombie. What happened here? I mean, I like where it's going, but I'm very confused with my improv. Maybe this is where they keep the beans. And they make the beans for you, and if you are not gracious... Goodbye. Anyway... Rations! Should I maybe actually limit this? So, for example, um... I could have it be up front. And then have these back to back. And then maybe some stuff in the background. I think that might be better. I think that might be better because um, it'll give me a little more flexibility for creativity. So you have all these cans and beans and rations and stuff, right? And there's not a whole lot because, uh, you know, this place is supposed to be abandoned. Or whatever the lore is now. I don't know anymore. It's nice of them to still provide, like, shopping baskets in high quality. Let me hydrate real quick. Like, of all the things here, really nice shopping baskets, surprisingly. Um... I might be able to fit one more of each. So that you kind of, you, you gotta snake around to get what you want, but everything is kind of like fenced off in a way that is beneficial for um, preventing thievery. Maybe I'll, I'll put the, the, the bug domain here. <laughs> you can't go past the bugs. I kind of like this. Though this might end up being a quick house now that I think about it. Uh, can you not open the bugs? Guess not. Anyway, yeah, um, now we can add in a few, uh, skulls and trappings and whatnot. Um, uh, wall mounted, I could technically use, like, the bottles. Because, um, they probably wouldn't allow regular people to just come in and steal the bottles, have access to it. You know, in order to get those, you gotta pay top dollar when you come in here. Otherwise, you're not getting the good stuff. I don't understand what happened to this prompt, but I like it. Is there anything else interesting I can put on the wall that would be kind of like desert? Deserted? Deserted desert convenience store slash a zombie apocalyptic refuge? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Maybe dried up, like, plants? Uh, pitcher plant doesn't have any other colors, unfortunately. That'd be a cool one to, to be more dried up. Uh, the floral swag, I remember there being kind of like... White? But that's not, like, dry. I guess, uh, if I was... Desperate... I mean, there's always the tapestries. If I was desperate, I could just use, like, the, the skull... Well, I am kind of desperate. <laughs> Let's get the skull cap. It's in here somewhere. It's buried down below. Okay. Maybe some bandages? So here's the cow skull. We'll kind of like put that, um... I guess above the door would be interesting. You can't really see it, but it's there, I promise. Actually... Actually, I like the way that the bandage covers the top of there. I wonder if I could make this look like there's extra stuff up above that's not the shelving, like the generic shelving. What can I put there? Uh, those are hats. I need I need the hats. Uh, let's see. Bunny ears, no. Conductor's cap, no. Crown, no. Eggshells? That, that's not interesting. What other stock could we have up there? Frugal hat. Just like things you would want to keep away from, you know, like like important things like uh, water. 
Is, is there really nothing here? Get your novelty hats at the deserted desert gift shop, I guess. Yeah, that, there's not... I mean, hats, I suppose, but... To what end? Also, I need to be, uh, sorry, on the, uh... <clears throat> ceiling! Ceiling, plus button, hit the plus button, hit the plus button, thank you! Can I just have this hanging out? That's the ticket. That's what I'm looking for. It's almost too perfect, really. So what kind of stuff can I toss down here? Um, do rags? No. What do I want to do here? Hmm. How about... I mean, I, I could always put on some safety helmets, I guess, with, you know, the lamps and whatnot. Um, definitely not a Santa hat. How about... Um... Maybe a steampunk hat, I guess? I don't know. This is... I don't know what the fiction is here. Here, have a Jotaro hat. Why not? I need, uh, there, I need there to be lore for this convenience store. Convenienced lore. Alright. Uh, what's another interesting cap we can put up there? Because I'm thinking we could maybe line the other sides as well. Uh, not just the back wall, maybe the um, front wall too. A knight's helmet? That's not super interesting. How about a mohawk? Yeah, that's the good, that's the ticket. Paper bag hood. Who doesn't want one? Honestly, who doesn't want one? Seriously. Who doesn't? Skeleton hood's kind of, uh, it, it just sticks out. But I'll, I'll toss it out, why not? Ooh, the tough helmet's really cool though. That's the Shovel Knight looking one. Um, I kind of like it when they're hanging down like this though. I might try to alternate. And the ones that stick out might not make it to the final cut. Well, I mean, they actually do kind of work though. Legitimately, they, they work. Like, they, 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 kinda, they hang there pretty nicely. You know, why not? I don't know about the skull hood, but we'll toss it up as a contender just for now. You know? Because we're, we're reaching the bottom here, and there's not really too many other hats and helmets we can work with. Maybe the back wall might be it. That might be all that we get. It does look good, though. Like, it actually, it looks like a display. A legitimate display. We might have to turn this around just to uh, keep up appearances. Okay, what else do we want to put in here? <laughs> Take the paper bag out. That's not going to work. Uh, wall mounted wise, there are a few interesting items we could work with. And by that, I mean um, paintings, and that's basically it. I could put one of the um, gyroids. I don't really use the gyroids in my designing too much, but maybe I could have one as a, uh, a shopkeep. Not on the wall. Maybe I could have one down here. Oh, I like his bop too. Let's get that out of the way. I have a better idea. Let's clear this out. Uh, maybe this guy can have his own table. Maybe I can extend this table out to be a different table. Or I could just copy and paste this table. Yeah, there's our little business friend. That's the ticket. I'm liking this lore now, actually. This is becoming less threatening and more uh, the original idea. Except it's not abandoned. This is kind of like... This is a convenience store you would find in a fantasy... You know, maybe a JRPG. You'd go into the desert. There's no one there except this decrepit store run by a very memorable character. This is... Um, this is Beauregard. Beauregard the Bouncetoid. Beauregard bounces all over the place, and he's a very charming shopkeeper. You come back to this store every other chapter just to fuel up on, uh, you know, revives and special items that only Beauregard sells. And then eventually, at the end of the game, you, you start to realize that Beauregard 
is more than just a shopkeeper, but a friend. And then Beauregard saves you in the final battle. And then they made, um, like a Nendoroid Beauregard. Thank you, Beauregard. Much appreciated. Anyway, what do I do with this friggin' friggin', friggin deep fryer here? What do I do with this? Let me hydrate. What's my plan here? I mean, it's in a convenience store, but to what end? Also, I need to uh, put some stuff on the ceiling. I think I have a few more things to work with now. Maybe like, um... It's not really, not really a whole lot, actually. What I could do is repurpose the split curtains as like, um... Oh yeah, that's what I could do. I can have those down the middle to be like, um... Oh, I could choose the pattern. If this is a regular store, like a regular convenience store, I would probably stick with using, um... The, um, like the fancy, fancier patterns, like the crest and the kuri. But, since it's in the desert, I'm thinking maybe... I can have this be a little more, yeah, like this. Um, can I extend this out? I think, I think I might be good to just have this cover the side. Does that look weird? That might look weird. But I'm still gonna go for it though. Uh, where can I put these? Uh, apparently I can just clip it through. Okay, cool, good. I'll just clip it right in there. Fantastic. I like that divider. Can I extend that uh, this direction to look cool? Unfortunately, I can't connect it without uh, doing some weird shenanigans here. I kind of like the way it clips, though. Like, it, it's aesthetically pleasing to see this clip through. Maybe not from this side. Physically, they would have had to have built a slot in the middle there, but you know, don't worry about it. This is Animal Crossing. We don't worry about things like that. Uh, better idea. How about I move the bugaboos forward and then add an extra uh, set of something here? I don't know. Uh, actually, what's more interesting? How about we um, shift these around a bit so that they're not all the same? That might give this a little more variety. And as you know, variety is the spice of life. Just like these are the spices that you uh, have to haggle for from Beauregard. That's the same color. I need to choose a different color. There we go. Cool. Um, and then I'm gonna have to move this back a little bit. Just to give you a little more room to work with, I suppose. There might be one more item we can shove here. Let's look at the recommended. Let's see what other um, grocery store stuff we have to work with, besides everything I own. I mean, a rolling cart, I guess. I mean, I definitely want to have some boxes of some kind. Maybe a cage cart. Uh, mop, you don't really clean the desert, do you? That's not how that works. This is my experience. Maybe a regular box? I don't know. Let, let, let's start brainstorming here. I want to have... I need a table for that darn deep fryer. I need to figure out something here. Uh, I see that everything else is already given up. That's great. Okay, cool. Maybe I should just have... Oh, you can stack the box too. Oh, that's nice. But I want to get uh, maybe like a lighter color. Well, it's not bad. It fits in with the aesthetic. Maybe what I could do is have the cart blocking here and have this be where you get your hand cart. And then since the little robot dude, since Beauregard kind of works on their own, they, they kind of just... They do what they need to do in order to deliver the goods. And it's a little scattershot. You know, it's a bit messy around here. But Beauregard does their absolute best. Maybe just add like a random box here, I don't know. Actually, on this side might be a little more interesting. You're trying to shop, but there's a box in the way. No, it's, it's throwing it off, isn't it? How about a fire instead? Nice toasty flame. My brain is telling me that I should keep using this. So I'm going to keep using it. Maybe Beauregard just really likes the tables? I 
guess we can put the box there. That's not... That's not, like, exciting great, but it's interesting. Maybe, uh, yeah, Beauregard runs a tight ship and doesn't really have too much room for error here. Sorry, are those bell-bottom jeans? Dress pants? Cool. Ooh, the aluminoid is cool. Very cool. What can we put on the wall that is... not... I mean, I guess I can put the, the welcome cobweb in the corner, but that's not really... That, this, that's like a Halloween decoration. I already used this, too. I have to stop saying I already used it because I've already used everything. I have to get out of that mindset. I gotta. How about some sticks? You like sticks? I guess. Maybe, uh, how about a mushroom wreath? Because everything's kind of like overgrown here. Ooh, I like that idea, actually. Here's, here's a good idea. These were really nice wreaths, and then they got like mushroomed and icky and stuff. Like, oh, they're popping up all over the place. And it's, it's kind of like... It's kind of a little bit messy around these parts. Mold and mildew and whatnot. Maybe up here these can be, um... This can be where the skulls are? Um... Just to keep with the theming. I mean, I guess what I could actually do... I could move the shelving over to the side here so that it lines up better. I can have that going across. Makes a little more sense, right? Uh, how does that clip? Oh, that looks good though. Actually, uh, if I move this down, not copy it down, if I move the whole thing down, I think that looks more natural, that looks more organic. Yeah, cool. I like this design. Let's move this forward again. Little Beauregard just dancing there. Uh, is there anything else? Probably not. I do have the spider webs. I forgot about that. Like the actual spider webs. Legit. Maybe I can um, toss a few around. You know, th this place has seen better days. I wish I could flip it so it looks a little more different. But, uh, you know, there there's only so much you can do. The limitations of Animal Crossing. Um, can I? I don't think there's any room over there for this. Maybe I'll just leave like one in the middle here and one off to the left. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, good is subjective. It, it's it's <laughs> in terms of messiness and ancientness. All right. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to do? I think we don't need any more lighting. I think it just needs to stay dim. Is there a little critter we want to put in here? I know that there's a scorpion outside. But I'm thinking maybe we could add like, um... Like a, a dry bug? Like a, a living bug. Because that's interesting lore, right? Like, there's a little robot here that takes care of an actual creature. Kind of like Wally, -E, I guess. Hmm. If it says, get over here, duck. Huh? Oh no. Uh, cicada shot? Yeah, watch out. Mole cricket. I think that might be more... Actually, if you put the, the insect next to the deep fryer, what does that say about you? Hmm. I guess the, the crickets are interesting because they have the, the different, like, the bamboo um, cages. But are there really crickets in the desert? That's a dumb question. Hey, Chad, they got bugs in the desert? <laughs> oh, jeez. I like this. This is looking good. It's simple. It works. Is there, like, an extra rug I could use to maybe uh, give a little more texture to the ground? Uh, rug, rug, rug. Rug, rug, rug. There is, like, the, uh, the shanty mat. It's a little too big. That, that's, like, that's too much. But it might be good. 
Like, if I use this... No. If I use this for the center... Kind of? I mean, it's not like... It, it kind of takes away from... No, it's, it might be good. Let's explore this avenue before we uh, say no. Because the other options are a little more defined. Whereas the shanty rug allows us to have some texture that goes above the sand. I guess technically the iron entrance mat works too, but that, that doesn't really capture the feeling I'm trying to get from this deserted desert convenience store from a JRPG, I guess. Um, I mean, I kind of like it though. But I feel like it needs to be smaller. Like if it if it went here, that would be perfect. I feel like this is too much. I feel like this overpowers the design I'm trying to make. Maybe not? How about I rotate it? Oh, that might be good actually. If I have it uh, facing this way, it looks a little more planky. My best friend, plank. There we go. I mean, it still, still kind of looks weird. But the idea I'm trying to put in kind of shines a bit more, I think. Uh, better idea. How about I face it this way so there's even more texture? No, it looks weird now. I'm gonna keep rotating the shelves by mistake. I mean, it's not perfect, but I think it does give me the vibe I want, so... I might just stick with it? Let's see here. If it's wrapping around... this one little path, I think that's good. I think that's acceptable. There's a little bit of open space here. I'm wondering if I could do a little sneaky-weaky, if I could be uh, a little bit of a trickster. Uh, no, what I was gonna say is I could move this forward and have a back layer, but then my whole idea of having a nice wall goes to ruin. So maybe not? Is there something else I can add to this, like, empty space, or is that good? Maybe I could, um, poof this out a little bit and have there be an extra... little something down the middle. Oh, I can still do my idea. Okay, okay, okay. Bear with me, chat. Here is my plan. Here's a little lesson in trickery. This is going down in history. I'm gonna put this uh, silly little divider here. And in the middle, there's gonna be extra shelving, right? There's gonna be like, not, not a rug, please. No more rugs. No, please, stop. I don't want another rug. I want to have the shelving go here. Does that not line up? I mean, I should have seen that coming. Is it okay if it's indented a little? I feel like that throws off my... Uh, anyway. This center part could be where the storage is? But then I have to move the bugaboo. Maybe, maybe the bugaboo cage gets moved when you need to access storage. Yeah, maybe that- maybe that's the ticket. And what I could do instead is have, um, like a shelf here? You know, there's always inevitably a shelf that you can't access in a convenience store. It's weird, right? Like, there's a- there's a lower shelf at the front counter, and you want to get a pack of gum. But you, then you're like, do I want to, like, crouch down just to get this gum or this candy? Is it really worth it? I've just- oh, I've gotten to the counter, now I'm talking to the person. Do I really want to be that person that's like, uh, hold on a second, let me just, uh, <laughs> yeah, let me just, I, I can't, I can't reach the, the candy bar, I can't, I can't, I can't reach it. Anyway, that was a very long-winded explanation of nothing that makes no sense. Let's instead, um, I don't know, get some boxes in the middle? Some provisions, rather? Um, what do we want to put in there? I guess that's where I could keep the... storage? For the boxes and carts and stuff? But... I kind of like the way that looks, though. My brain is telling me I should put a, a skeleton in there, but that's too easy. 
That's too much. I've already put a skeleton outside. I've used a skeleton in several other houses. I want there to be something... There has to be an interesting hook in the center. There's got to be something that you don't see while you're shopping for provision... Gold. 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 That's the ticket. Gold. Where's the gold? That is under miscellaneous. I'm going to start at the very bottom because I know what I want to do now. We're going to put gold in the center. You're not going to know what is going on. There's actually riches beyond your wildest dreams in the middle. I guess if you peeked through, like... The holes in the center? You could maybe spot some? Uh, that's more of a placeholder. I'm looking for, like, um, the gold bars. I know there's a gold bar item that I have. I guess I could add some more gold and stuff on here. A golden wristwatch? Really? There it is. Gold bars. Yeah. So we'll have, like, gold bars and, uh, not a briefcase. Do we want a briefcase? I mean, I kind of wanted there to be, like, I wanted there to be something interesting with this being abandoned. But the problem with the abandoning is, you have this out here? You have, like, an actual advanced touchscreen cash register that doesn't work with my aesthetic. But I have to get it to work for, uh, our friend here. What do I want? I mean, I guess the lore is that Beauregard uh, was able to get it functioning somehow. I don't, I don't know. I kind of like this though. Since it is modern, a briefcase is fine, I guess. But I think I want to put this on top of like a really cool table. Elegant table. It doesn't match. Yeah, you would not expect to see that, would you? Look at this, all this gold hidden away. Uh, do I want it to be that way, though? Is that what I want? What's my plan here? Hmm. Does that... Is that cool? Would you do that? Would you keep your, like, precious gold material? Well, maybe Beauregard doesn't know. Beauregard is, like, the... The, the Bamble... Blongledoid here. The Dudoid. Um, I guess I could add the flame here. Maybe I should keep the campfire off of the, the materials. Keep that outside. But we got to have the bugaboos blocking off the treasures. I like that. I think we're good. I think we're good here. I'm going to uh, go outside really quick and fix a few things. Just to give it a little more spice. A little more spice. That's the ticket. Just a little bit more. A little, little taste. Um, I guess during the day is fine. Is there anything else we want to put out here? Uh, make it super bright. That's not bright. Maybe, maybe, yeah, there we go. Just like a little bit of overcast. Not rain. Rain is too easy. Uh, the, the color of the cool skull door plate doesn't really fit the aesthetic. We'll keep it to the, like, the welcome brown. Is there anything else you want to put? Maybe some fencing? And then I think what I'll do is I'll go inside and I'll add a soundscape because we don't really use those very often. And by we, I mean me. I should use those more often. How about um, spiky fence? That's that's very good. That's very, very encouraging. I love spiky fence. Spiky fence makes me want to go shopping. <laughs> Who doesn't love spiky fence? I sure love spiky fence. Okay. Let's just add a few more around here. Why not? Just kind of like uh, randomly tossed. Maybe a little bit leading up here. What I should do is center this, but you can't really center. You can kind of just like hope that the suggestion of centering comes into play. Animal Crossing. Does that work? I'll just leave it where it was. Whatever. There is also another cacti, or cactus rather. There's the, the blooming cactus, which I guess I can probably start alternating these so they look interesting, visually distinct. Uh, maybe place one down below, add a flower one around here. This is going to be very awkward when we have another, uh, like a western theme house to make. 
And I've already used up all my uh, Wild West prowess here. I do like it, though. Is there maybe one more thing we can toss in? How about... How about, like, a, a dry well? That That's funny. Well, not funny if you're thirsty, but... Um, we can add in... Uh, I also need a convenience store. Like, a, I need, like, the, the standee. That's what I need. Let me find the well really quick. Yeah, here's the well. It's empty. No water. I can't do that angle properly. No water. It's, it's not working. <laughs> not tonight. Okay, uh, what else? What else? What else? A butter churn? Butter churn. No, I want to have a sign. I mean, I, I guess I could put this down here. There's a lot of different colors, I remember. Yeah, I'll get the old one in here. So we can kind of have it sectioned off, but you see there's a like a visual story here. Yes. And then I want to have a convenience store sign, which I believe was up a few. Like kind of in the, um, the construction area, I, I guess there's a construction sign. <laughs> Um, hmm. Why don't I have this sign outside my house? I guess that's because the construction sign wasn't, like, customizable until the 2.0 update. It's fine. We'll have, um, like, an apology one, I guess. Like, sorry, this is closed, but it's not, though. Maybe some caution tape? Or like a, a safety barrier? How about like a really like dingy, dull oil drum? There's no water to be found in around these parts. Uh, maybe one over here as well. Slightly condemned, don't worry about it. Just, just go in and do your shopping, maybe get out. Just, just in case. Just be careful. Ugh. I like it. I almost want to take a picture of the outside, but this isn't a desert house. This is a deserted convenience store run by a gyroid robot named Beauregard, apparently. Thank you, Improv. Man, these really take me places. Okay. What do I want to do? I think, I think I'm good on this one. Maybe um, I'll take a break after this, unless someone wants to dormant jowls me. But I'll, I'll be taking a break regardless. Uh, after I do the video, of course. We're gonna finish this up after I add the soundscape. We'll take a break, maybe do another house. Soundscape. 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 Maybe add a little stinky effect? Uh, okay. Get some wind going. Actually, would there be wind, or would it be creaky? No, that's a little too, like, creepy creaky. I actually kind of like that. It's like, it's like the windows are busted open. Um, and in terms of effects, what did we want to polish with? I'm thinking maybe we should get like, um, like a gloom swirl somewhere. Ugh. Oh, rancid. Oh, oh, you don't want to eat that. Ugh. Gross. Maybe a stress buzz? Um... Maybe our friend Beauregard's a little zappy. Like, a, a little, a little lot zappy. Oh, okay, that's, that's like Super Saiyan. Let's, let's, let's chill a little bit. Oh, I like that. There can be a little bit of, like, a, an electric effect here. Because it's not quite perfect, you know? It's a little rundown. It's to be expected that there might be a little bit of uh, problems going on here. Um, I kind of like having the butterflies. I know they're not moths, but it gives me that vibe of, um, okay, there's there's some, um, some, some not so fresh stuff going on in here. There's like moths everywhere. 
Can I add that to the uh, the wall? Ooh. Ugh. I don't want to shop here. But you don't have a choice because you're in the desert and otherwise you'll perish. You have to pick the lesser of two evils. Do you want expired canned food or to perish? I mean, either way is not great, but... Um... You gotta choose your battles, right? Um, I guess that's good. I think what I'm gonna do is take the picture. Uh, I might have to move our friend out of the way. You know, the funniest thing is... Pippi is not gonna... Not gonna appreciate this house. Pippi wanted, like, a nice convenience store. A regular one, you know, just a place where people can come in and get some snack of rudels and whatnot. And here I am. Ah, I see one a convenience store. Get this. It's in the desert. It's abandoned and run by a robot. A little eccentric, but, you know, the robot does the job. Let's take a picture. That's not the picture button. Um, what's a good angle for this? Um, actually... Was there a better entryway I wanted to do? Uh, let's not move the gold. Wasn't there like a like a cracked flooring? No, I mean, there, I guess, but that doesn't really come from the desert. Um, I guess it was fine as it was, I guess. Okay, and then we can make it like have a vintage coloring. Um. Let's see here. Make it all western looking. I think it was around here? Let's see if we can get like a little bit of uh, Beauregard uh, shocking here. Let's see if I can time this real quick. Uh, nope. Let's try that again. Nope. Let's try that again. Wait for the vault and go. Um, there we go. No, let me count this down. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. So it's on a cycle of, like, every six-ish seconds. I guess that's as good as going to get. My <laughs> my photo album is going to be completely messed up after this. Um, let's get out of the cleaning mode. I wanted to double-check my photos. It doesn't really capture the vault, but, um, I guess I'll keep this one. I think there was a more vintage picture I could take. There's, like, a, a more vintage -y effect. But I, I don't know if that, that's, like, an old-timey saloon color. That's, like, an old western. Uh, that's not quite what I'm going for. Uh, let's ignore the bulbous filter. I think if I get... This might be a better angle. Here's what I'm going to do. I'll wait for the swirls to come by. Oh, that's good. Um, why is it so hard to capture this little bit of electricity? I'm just going to keep pressing. There we go. Cool. That, that's the one. Please give it to me. Thank you. That's the one I wanted. A very convenient store. Is it really, though? It's not really convenient for anyone's sake, really. That's the unfortunate problem. It doesn't really, uh, it's kind of out of the way, you know what I mean? It's a little bit of a problem. Okay. Alright. Let's get that improv going. It's good to go, Pippi! I hope you enjoy this, uh, not-so-convenient store. Get a quick hydrate in before, uh, go to improv. And then we'll take a break! And then maybe do another house. Da -da -da -da. Improv activate. Welcome to Pippi's Very Convenience Store, which happens to be an abandoned convenience store. Located in the middle of the desert, you'll see it's fully stocked, but it's strange because it's run by a little bit of a robot friend here who has a secret stash of gold, also a cricket. Don't worry about the deep fryer. It's a little stinky. 
As long as you don't look at the gold, everything's gonna be fine. But you'll see our little friend Beauregard back there, the robot, is doing their best to run this store. But you better be careful. If you don't behave, you're not gonna like the results. It's dangerous in here. I give that improv a seven. Out of four. <laughs> yeah. That's nice music. It is whispers. That's nice musky. So, um, I don't know if you saw, but this is a abandoned, kind of not abandoned actually. Uh, this is a convenience store. It's supposed to be a convenient convenience store for Pippi. However, I've made it into a desert wasteland run by a robot named Beauregard who's a little short-circuiting, which is something I should have mentioned during the improv, but again, improv. <laughs> There's also a little bit of gold secret in there. I'm actually really proud of the outside. I'm gonna take a picture of the outside because I think it really captures like that desert feeling pretty swell. Look at this. Look at this big old location here. Let's go ahead and hide everyone. I think this looks really cool. It, it, I was able to like squeeze it all in. There's also like secrets you'll see in the top right. There's a skeleton. You probably can't see it, but it's behind the wagon somewhere in there. I, I like this angle better actually. Um, so the lore here is that you're traveling through the desert. You find a well, there's no water in it. You find the barrel, there's no water in it. And, uh, you know, maybe to avoid the elements and to, to dodge the scorpion, you decide to go inside to the abandoned convenience store. And there's a quirky little robot that helps you. And I mean, I, I wanted to leave. I guess I have to... Hold on a second. I have to drag the person that I helped. No, I don't want to scan an amiibo card. I would like you to help me leave, please, Pippi. Pretty please. Because I'm going to take a break. And then we'll do one more house, I think. And then I th we might be at house like 28 or 29. That was a fun prompt though. I'm glad I chose that over danger. But who knows what would have happened at the danger house. Here's 15,000 pokey because you spent $81,000 on a sword. <laughs> yeah, goofball. It's a lot of money. This last job was the 30th vacation home you've been in charge of. Oh, um, are we finishing tonight? Hello? Is it party time? Oh, um, uh, okay. I might have to make another house though, now that I think about it. I might have to make like, uh, I saw something about maybe you might have to make a new uh, facility, but it's okay. This is this last job was the 30th vacation home you've been in charge of. Means you've grown our client. Glown our client? I really need a break. That means we've grown our client base considerably and we've cleared our goal toward holding the event. We need to go out and celebrate. I'll leave it to you. Would you rather go to the restaurant or the cafe? Ooh, chat, what do we do? Do we want to be bougie? Do we want to splurge? Do we want to just go to Tropical and assuming they pay, eat everything on the menu, or do we want to go chill at the Conch Cove Cafe? Very nice, relaxing, kickback location. Very serene, a very under the water restaurant. Yeah, now you're thinking, Whispers. We gotta go big, we gotta get the filet mignon. I gotta say, going to a cafe, not really celebratory. I mean, like, maybe like, just to go hang out with friends. But when I think I want to go out, I think I want to get a nice, big, filling dinner. Yeah, commanding. Oh, geez. Sounds great to me. Let's head over to the restaurant to celebrate. Nice. Let's have a nice meal. Chow down. Thank you, camera. I love how partitions make things very awkward. Now that we're all settled in here, congrats on designing 30 vacation homes, Digga. Woo! The big 3-0. You're doing great, Digga. Congrats. Everyone has a juice glass, right? Let's hear it. Cheers! Captured for all time. Although, I, I seem to be, uh, 
I seem to be blocking poor Nico back there. It's getting so lively around here, and that's because of all the hard work that Dig has done. Yeah, Whispers, if you haven't played Happy Home Paradise, you gotta get to it. It's so much fun making these houses. It's great. I've asked so many people about their Animal Crossing status. I think I've forgotten where you are in it. <laughs> Did I ask you? I don't remember. I apologize, streamer brain. But if you haven't played Paradise yet, I highly recommend it. It's free of Nintendo Switch Online, which you're spending a lot of money on, or you could just buy it separately for $25. Why am I trying to sell it to you? You already see that it's good. Oh, man. There's gonna be a really big event after this. Technically, you're gonna see, um, if you're gonna be watching still, this is uh, gonna be like the ending of Happy Home Paradise. I guess technically it'd be a spoiler, but it already got spoiled like... It's not really a spoiler, it's a party. This is New Horizons, but um, you have to get DLC. This is Happy Home Paradise, which is New Horizons. It's a separate island you go to once you buy or download the DLC. Whereas, like in uh, with Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS, they made a separate game for Happy Home Designer. This is Happy Home Paradise, which is part of the game. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little confusing, but it's just the same game. With the DLC. There we go. That's all I had to do. I made it more confusing than it needed to be. We're gonna have a party very, very soon. It's gonna be great. Oh yeah, Wordle is supposed to be uh, getting us the hookup with KK. Wordle's got the connections. Also, Wordle is fantastic. This is worth it just for Wordle. It's going well. No. Oh. That means once we finish the last facility, we'll be finished with all of our prep work. Okay, I guess it will be making a facility after all. Speaking of that final facility, just got word moments ago, we have permission to work on it. This might be another hour, but I'm, I kind of want to finish it tonight now. You liked it when it came out and played so much, but it's kind of draining once you get to island design. That is totally fair, Whispers. It's a lot of work, especially when you see all the islands that people have made that are super perfect and streamlined, and you look at yours like... I don't feel good. <laughs> no, I was just kidding. But, um... I never really let it get to me. I just let my island design grow organically, and it worked out pretty nicely. So what's next? This game is very overwhelming. They, they toss a lot of stuff at you very quick. That's kind of what makes it fun. It's a challenge to try to make things look good with a very small, predetermined set of items until you get more. All right. I want to take another picture in here. I should have taken a picture of when it said 30, but it's fine. Cheers. I'm sorry, Nico. I didn't mean to block you a second time. Yeah, the art is fantastic. The, the Everything is really, really nice. It is still missing the 3DS features, but, you know, I say that every stream. I'm not gonna continue, um, beating that, um, uh, expired radish pile. Okay. Whoa, nice poppin'. Cheers. Um, let's, let's sit down and enjoy, um, a nice snack. I'm gonna take a quick break. And uh, then after that, uh, I guess we'll be actually finishing the game today. Ironically, uh, I titled the stream, No Parties. But we might actually have a party. <laughs> Apparently, we might be beating the story mode tonight. Because I thought I was on house like 27, and then they're like, oh, you're on the final house. Okay. Yeah, it's time for a break. I will be right back, everybody. Stay tuned, chill out, enjoy. Cheers. I can't cheers while I'm sitting down. I'll see you in a minute. Not literally a minute. I'll be right back. Stay tuned, everyone.
All right, I am back. It is time for us to move on. We are gonna finish tonight, apparently. Let's go. Very exciting. And by that, I mean uh, we're gonna spend another like hour-ish plus on whatever the newest facility is, I guess, and then we'll maybe be done, finally. 
all these months of saying I'm almost done, I'm almost done, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. I might actually be done tonight. Look at this vintage low table, freaking 12,000 six. I'm gonna buy it, whatever, this is a party. It's my table and I'll buy it if I want to. Hi, Lottie. We are so close to holding our event. Your next task is the very last thing we need to do. Are you ready? Heck yeah. Please change to your uniform. What are we making? You're raring to go, aren't you? All right then. We're in the final stages of getting ready for the event. Let's build an apparel shop to finish things up. Now, we did just build a shop technically. We made a convenience store. A apparel shop, um, sure. After all, looking fashionable always puts folks in high spirits. Doubly so at a big event, especially when you have that drip. Special day calls for special clothes, am I right? Let's head over to the site. Meowf, yeah, that's right. We're gonna create an amazing apparel shop and make our event as stylish as it is unique. Sounds good, leave it to me. Someone who has no experience with doing clothing shop designs and fancy things, let's make it look good. Oh, that's where it was gonna be. So it, it kind of just was on the main line right here then. That's interesting. Okay. It's gonna be a hot spot on Main Street. Focus on the outside first. All right. We're gonna make a fancy looking apparel shop. What is the best coloring while I mute to sneeze? Maybe not. Actually, hold on. Well, that sneeze is gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, hold the phone. We could have a, a freaking really cool showcase window display. Yeah, F's in chat for this sneeze. Here, I, I got you, Whispers. Here, I'll, I'll give you a B salute. I'll give you a, That's not the right text box. I'll give you a proper B salute to, to well, to myself, to sneezing. What what am I even doing? Whatever. <laughs> it's trapped in my head now, which is making me feel funny. It's all good. Let's make a cool apparel shop. It's gonna be great. What do we want to? Um, I already made uh, Tropic Cool all blue, I believe. Are we gonna make this just like? Wh what's the theming here? I think we have to start with the showcase because we want to decide what we want this to be. Clowns. Why did I call that clowns? Just because it's got balloons and like an overall with like squares doesn't mean it's for clowns. It's a Shea apparel shop. A ah, timeless window display, you say. Groovy, no. Sports, no. Cute, nah. Chic is good. I mean, I kind of like the fun look. Do we want to have like... This isn't going to be an upscale you know, every shirt is $300 kind of shop. This is going to be a place where you can... It's going to be... <laughs> I can't even finish the sense about laughing. I'm going to make the Chuck E. Cheese of apparel shops. <laughs> Let's just go for it. Why not? Let's make this just... You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Let's just make this as gaudy as possible. Actually, it doesn't look bad. I kind of like that. How about a lime green door? Yeah, look at that. What uh, What is this? What is this design? I don't know. What What do I want this to be? It's It's just kind of like, you know, whatever. I think I already have uh, an aqua roof. Maybe I'll make this... Um, I guess I could just keep it red? Um, Let's go purple. There. That's a fun color combination. Welcome to... Uh, yeah, look at that. That looks great. Okay. So imagine this. Imagine this. Okay, so you're You're tasked with creating a very upscale formal restaurant. You put the plans in the works, you get the floors going, you get everything set up, you build it from the ground up. You have cafes to the side that are very fancy. You make a restaurant trawled trawled? I just took a break. Am I okay? You make a restaurant called Tropicool, an upscale, elegant sort of place. And then next door? Chuck E. Cheese. But you can't say anything about it, you know, th they pay the rent. Just like you do as a business owner. <laughs> you 
You have to have an upscale restaurant next to the Chuck E. Cheese of apparel shops. It's the worst feeling, but it's the best feeling. What the heck am I gonna do here? How do- I want this to be, like, just goofy fun. I want this to be over the top. This looks boring. Oh, but we have mannequins, though? Uh, the plan is to change the available selection on a daily basis. Okay. It's not the mannequins from uh, New Leaf, but it'll have to do. You know what I miss from New Leaf? The clown furniture. Since we're talking about clown stuff, New Leaf had an entire assortment of really funny clown furniture. And it had like a balloon dog. And I, I used to have like in my museum where you used to be able to have an entire room to yourself to store things, which you don't anymore. What was that sentence? <laughs> which you don't anymore. Why am I so angry about that? I got like really fake offended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm never actually, like, angry, angry. <laughs> Gotta clarify that. Because it's hard to tell tone from text. I guess this isn't text, but you know what I mean. <laughs> My intentions are always genuine. Uh, anyway, there's three kinds of mannequins for different types of products. You can use up to six mannequins in any combination you like. Now, the funny thing is... If I make this a really wonky design, the only one that this is a uh, detriment to is myself. Because I'll have to peruse the store in a funny way. A silly little peruse for my funny little clothes. Alright, Digga, this is the last of the facilities. Really let your design skills run wild. Design an apparel shop. Don't mind if I do. Let's make this thing as big as possible. I want this to be the equivalent of, um... Why did they start you with a... Just a grungy prison wall. Ooh. Fun lighting. I want this to be really high quality. Kind of like the old, uh, like Nookingtons. Time to get started. Oh, 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 Whispers. Did you just befuddle Wormster me? Whispers? Whispers? Befuddle Wormster? Whispers? Me? Well, you'll notice I fixed the transition, so it's actually coming down instead of up. I'm gonna turn my controller upside down. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you remembered that it was actually relatively cumbersome to, to try to navigate Animal Crossing upside down. Okay, um, let me use my uh, right thumb to press up. That's the lights. Press up, which is down. Um, use my pinkies to change the directions here. Um, w let me look at the guide really quick. Hi, bunny! <laughs> Rip indeed. <laughs> oh geez, okay. So we can have um we can have up to six different mannequins here. We need a cash register. Um we want this to be like fun. We literally just had to touch this one in the other uh house we just made. A modern cash register is boring. Let's have this be like an antique. Um and then for mannequins, I think we want to just have two of each. This is interesting because it means that you're choosing the quantity of the exclusive items that you want. I'm assuming that items are tied to this. Every day there's another like exclusive rotating set of stuff. Stop turning on the weird like dark light filter. <laughs> filter? 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 No, please. What is this store? Keep the lights on, please. It's weird. Uh. Hi, Bonnie. That's totally cool. I'm more than happy to uh, speak to whoever wants to speak. If you want to lurk, that's totally cool as well. If you want to just pop in just to uh, exclamation mark lurk or dig or whatever it is, <laughs> burrow. What did I set it to? I should set it to everything. Regardless of who's here, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. So what I want to do is make this um, not... I don't want to just shove all like the the clothing stuff, but I've never seen these items before. These ones are new. Uh, maybe I'll I'll stick to having a few of them in here, but I don't want it to be boring. Ooh, a wide display stand. We got the mannequins. Uh, I don't have the small one yet. I think I got I got the dress one. Um, I bought that one of my days I was here as one of the new items. Oh, they even recommend the toy machine. They knew what I wanted to do. They knew I wanted to make this like a fun bow. 
they knew I wanted to make this like a, like a kid's emporium. Not for kids, it's just like a fun place to go because clothes shopping is boring, let's be real. I don't think you want to put free on no... Sure, I'll put, I'll put a... Hey everyone, look! Everything's free! Everything! Let's be real. Shopping for like formal clothes, any sort of clothes, is not especially exciting. If you like it, that is wonderful. But if you have to go in and just be like, okay, I want to get an XL, okay, I want to try this on. Do you even try things on anymore in this day and age? I know Amazon has like that new feature, or not new, it's been around. They let you like try before you buy. Bank vault wall, what the heck? Apparel shop wall, I, how do I make this look interesting? Colorful, yes. We have to Chuck E. Cheese this up, but we're not, we're gonna keep it like, like, like a different kind of Chuck E. Cheese. Um, maybe partitions. Those usually don't go too well, but that's the wrong button. I want to hit up. That's the groovy button. I want to hit down. <laughs> that's the down button. I want to hit left. You want to hit right? Oh, you did? Oh, cool. I have not tried things on at a store in a very long time. I just kind of order online and, well, duh, duh, so generic sounding. I order clothes online. Oh, man. It's hard, though, because there's some things you have to fit into. You have to get a fit. Like, if you're getting a tux, like a nice tux or any sort of formal wear, you want to you wanna get a nice fit. It is boring. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm glad I could. I'm glad that I'm not alone in that. <laughs> just personally, because, you know, I could be at any other store. But to be in, like, a Macy's, it's not bad. It's just, like, yeah, I'm shopping for clothes. I could be, uh, well, the Disney store's closed down, so it's not like if I went to those malls, I would really have anything to do. The Lego store's still there, I guess, in certain places. That's the wrong button. I want to hit left. And by left, I mean I want to hit right. Thank you, me. Um... But yeah, I'd much rather spend my time on uh, streaming, doing, helping, uh, going to French streams and whatnot. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's the thing too, Bunny. Like, you don't know, like, measurements off the top of my head. I mean, I, I know that, like, my shirt size, I guess, but I'll forget, like, oh, jeans are, like, a very special thing. Also, congratulations, Bunny. Congrats. Let's get Froggy Chair in here. I'm like, yeah, I've lost a lot, too. I, I'm like, I, I don't know my proper sizes anymore if I wanted to get formal wear. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I just order online and hope. You had to buy suspenders last week. I can make um, like a Forze reference, you know? The suspenders! Doom. But I know that only you'll get that, MK. <laughs> They're pretty styling, though. Oh my gosh, we want to do the artsy table. This is the weirdest... What? What is this? This is like when you walk into Target and they have like the Lego collaboration clothing out. Uh, you did the reference? Nice. Yeah. Suspenders! Doom. It's great. I'm so glad that only you and I can share in this reference unless uh, there, were, there might be a few other people. I don't know. It's totally cool. We're all styling in here, aren't we? So yeah, this is like uh, like a Target where they, they have the new, um, I guess as of this record recording? Okay, I gotta come clean, chat. All of my streams... Where's my snap? Pre-recorded. That's right. I socially engineered <laughs> this moment with the coordination of everyone in chat. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Yes, only we have the knowledge... Right now, I think. Um, has it been five minutes? It has. Okay. Well, thank you for that confusion, Whispers. I'm going to turn my controller right side up, and we're going to send off Befuddle Wormster until the next befuddling. A Jingle Isabel redeem? Don't mind if I do. Woo! Here you go, Whispers. Woo-wee! Look at that, Isabel go! Jingle, jingle, jingle! I'm always surprised that people don't redeem this. It's only 100 shovel strikes. Yeah, let's go! It's only 100 shovel strikes. It resets very quickly. It's free real estate. Literally the entertainment button. I'll give you a little extra off the top. 
for context for everyone, this is the Sane Isabel plush toy, and I have a redeem for you can just jingle Isabel. If you would like more entertainment, I will give it to you. Don't say I don't make you happy chat. I want to make sure that you're doing good, having fun. What is this? What do I want to do here? I think what I want to do is have like a separation of different types of clothing. I'm not a fashionista, so I don't know how to design uh, like a proper... Uh, I mean, actually a changing room. I just subconsciously made a changing room kind of. Though uh, there is a booth item for that. It's really hard because you have to scroll through everything. I think it's in the wardrobes? Like there should be a booth. Not a dreamy shelf, but I might need that. There should be a booth that you can go into. Not literally, you can't go into it, but it's there. This is really cumbersome to explain. <laughs> let's just toss everything out and see how it works. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Booth, booth, booth. That's restroom stuff. I mean, there's a shower booth, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, actually, was that it? Bathroom stall. I mean, I mean, a clothing store, that's kind of like one of the number one things you need, right? I guess. Have it be all cute and colorful. Um, though I should make it, I was going to make it colorful, but I realized that th if I just do this, that looks like, oh, um, that's not really, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a, hmm. That's very split. Let's see. You can't just do two! What? I don't know. I just want a fun color! But you can't just do generic blue and pink and be like, Oh, that's the boys' room. That's the girls' room. That doesn't fly! You gotta be respectful to everyone. Which is why you get Darkwood. Enjoy the boredom. <laughs> Have two restrooms. The quantity is what matters. Oh, you can actually see the... Oh, I, I didn't... I don't know why I... I, uh, I didn't know why I didn't expect there to be toilets in there. I didn't... They're in there. Ugh. Anyway, that was an interesting tangent. <laughs> Let's move on. I have a better idea. I think of what I want to do. This is going to be one of those places that's like, you know, free-flowing open. And then the center here... I gotta get rid of the free signs. That's not going to work. I can't do that. The center here is where the counter is going to be. And the counter is going to be on top of, like, a bunch of fun stuff. Facing this way. And then, um, I have to figure out what table to put these mannequins on. Can they even go on tables? I don't know if they can. That'd be kind of weird if they were just on the ground, right? Yeah, I mean, I think they're literally just, like, on stands. Maybe the head ones can? Yeah, they can. Okay. All of them? Um, no, not the ones planted on the ground. But you know what? I can work with this. Here's what I'll do. Oh, a Groovin Redemption from Bunny. Sure. Let's get Groovin. Oh, it's got a transition now. <laughs> I remembered. Thank you, me. Also, uh, for anyone else uh, who doesn't know, I have a redemption. Jags! Hey, Jags! How's it going? Welcome. You see a little something by your name there, Jags? Do you see a little bulbous boy flying? It's because I finally finished my bit rewards, which were, uh, you know, literally the... You probably read it already. Literally, the cool little plush toy versions of the Stream Redemption friends. I had those sitting around. Like, why didn't I just use that for the bit tier badges? Anyway, you got a bulbous boy flying now. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um... I do have another redeem. If people haven't seen it yet, I added it last stream. It is called March of the Takers. And uh, for context, I've been making a lot of uh, animated taker remotes, the, the Helltaker ones for people. And uh, I figured, why not make that a redeem? So if you want to redeem that at any time, I will summon all the takers I made, which is uh, apparently 10. I've already made 10 of those things. And they'll dance for a few minutes. It, it takes up a lot of space, but it's really worth it. 
How do I want to do this? Do you approach the counter and you have to like lean up past the plush toys in order to 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 get what you want? I'll put the froggy chair over here. How do I want this to work? I gotta get rid of the free sign. You, you can't just have the free sign. 50% off, new... Oh, thank you, bunny. Look at all the grooving. Oh, these are cool. Number one, a uh, new heart. Best choice? Finger pointing? Not clickbait. Hearts? This is gonna be the most fun apparel shop. It's gonna be great. I just need to figure out how I want this to work. I think what I'll do instead is I'll have, uh, I'm still kind of brainstorming here. I'll have like a counter here, which is where you get the actual payment done. And then like here is where the fun begins. Now this is pod racing. Uh, maybe back here is the restroom, honestly. Like, I need to find the stall, not the stalls in the stall. I need to find the stall item. I know I have it, it's pink, it's cute. It's in here. Yeah, you, you gotta make shopping fun. You gotta, bunny. I'm trying my best here with what I'm given. They give me a regular prompt, make a store. I'm gonna make a fun store. This is gonna be like, I've already said this, this is gonna be the Chuck E. Cheese, except it's, it's not really, that's not really fun, is it? The, uh, I don't know. Aesthetically, I think it's Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Look, there's a fire hydrant and a funny doggy. Where's my doggy? 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 Don't slander Chuck E. Cheese! <laughs> oh no, Jax. I never thought I would get opposition. But you're right. Who am I to slander the, the fine establishment of Chuck E. Cheese? How dare I? You spent many birthdays there. I did too! I played a lot of the uh, Nickelodeon kart racing game. Not the new one. Not the sequel to the new one. The original one. Nicktoons Racing. Heck yeah. That's the good stuff. The grandma was a skee-ball champion. Wow, that's pretty sweet. This is honestly just becoming a, a kid's a kids play place. I need to fix that. The longer I don't find what I want, the more kid stuff is added. The longer I scroll without seeing the booth, the more insane it gets. A jingle is about redemption from Shay. Oh, hi, Shay. Don't mind if I do. Yeah! Yeah, let's go, Shay! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> it's not quite the, the, the really cool big new one you just got, but I will always shake Isabel. For only 100 shovel strikes during Animal Crossing. How's it going, Shay? I gave you a little extra off the top. Ooh! I am, um... Shake, shake, yeah. I'm actually, um... I did my 30th house, like, an hour ago, and now I'm making the final thing you need to beat Paradise Planning, which is an apparel store. And I went for... Uh, <laughs> I look back and I'm just like, how do I explain this to anyone that just came in? I think it kind of makes sense. You see, what happened was, um, I'm trying to find a booth. There's a booth that lets you... Uh, you don't. You can't actually, like, change clothes, but there's a booth, right? A booth item, but all I can find is the restroom. And so the longer I look, the more weird stuff gets added. Maybe I'll just do a uh, Sané. Oh, you know what? This could be the Sané store. The Sané store. Oh, that's cool, Shay. Thank you very much. Oh, what can I add here? What's the playground equipment doing behind the register? Don't worry about it, Jags. It's fine. <laughs> Yes, we can make this the Sané store. That might actually be interesting. That might be interesting. I think we only get one floor. But I could maybe work with this. Uh, the only thing is we have these um, mannequins that are very empty and bland. We, we'll, just, we'll, we'll toss them around. We'll make this fun. Let's. This is already fun. We were heading toward a fun. Hmm. Yeah, only one floor. But I think I could make this a Sané store. So, you know, an apparel shop, it doesn't have to be all clothes. It can be a lot of different things that you sell to various customers. Is it so the retail employees can climb away from customers? <laughs> Jax, please. <laughs> I mean, 
That is how retail do. <laughs> That's how, yeah. You gotta, you gotta escape. You just, this is, this is what they do, okay. I'm gonna grab Lottie for a demonstration. They sit you down, that's the wrong seat. Can I not put Lottie on there? Don't, can't you uh, sit on one of these? Yeah, I think it's this red one. You put your associate there, they're working. Oh, she really gets to work. And then when the customers come at you because their coupon from 18 years ago doesn't work, you can just hop on top, jump over the corner, and into the ducky pool, make a quick escape. Now she's stuck there. No overtime, oh no! But most importantly, most importantly, everything is free. Everything. No, I, that needs to turn back immediately. You don't want, you don't want that. I've seen times where um, people at like Target will, um, there's a sign that, actually, what was it? There was a Black Friday one year where there was a sign that said something was free by mistake and they had to honor it, but man, the the rampage uh, from reading on the news is reading on the news? Reading in the newspaper. <laughs> There's an article somewhere about it. Anyway, um, before I get distracted, I need to fulfill the Sene. Oh, free sample hugs. Yeah, yeah, like a Build-A-Bear. Yeah, you get a free hug. Actually, Jimmy, that cost you $14.99. That's not what I wanted to move. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to move. <laughs> Please, go back. Okay. So, it's good because uh, I've been wanting to find a use for all my Sene items, and uh, this might be a good chance to dump them all. Dump them all? That sounds mean <laughs> to get rid of them. No, I will make theming. I'm gonna make themed areas in this tiny 10 by 10 that I've been given. Please stop going to the disco lighting. I kind of like it though. Stop defaulting to that light, please. I did not set that filter. I didn't agree to this. Um, actually, um, is that the, um, is that the crane game making that sound? My layout's the same as yours? Oh yeah, Shay. We you gotta share that brain cell <laughs> when it comes to Animal Crossing. It's free real estate. Ooh, the Shay Taker, let's go. Did she take what the CC taker? I mean, sorry. I was talking about uh, before you came in or if you were there I was telling people I have a new redeem uh, Called March of the takers and it summons all the takers I've made all of them for five minutes and they will dance on the bottom of the screen I've made ten already. Huh Can't be stopped The sheer power of just Dropping it. Oh, well speaking of <laughs> well, thank you Shay. Let's bring out all the takers dun 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 dun. Let me increase their size really quick because I shrunk them earlier. Dun 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 dun. dun. There they. Oh. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it just appears and then just vanishes. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed your 800 shovel strikes worth. Of that was it. Just a little flicker. It's like like in uh, like in the rescuers. Like, can you look at? Can I see the the, the diamond or whatever? It's like. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Let's do that again. Let me send off Groovin first. Was it worth it? <laughs> I'm glad. Anyway, here they are. Woo! Look at them go. There's me, there's Jen, there's Boo, there's Abby, there's RJ, there's Genevieve, there's you, and then there's Ophelia, and then there's Tria. Look at them go. Heck yeah. The army grows. Who will I make next? You never know. It's a very nice power. <laughs> the talent. Talent? I'm just patting myself on the back now? <laughs> oh. The skill to just make people happy by dropping a banger piece of art as always. <laughs> you never know when I'll get you. When did I summon a tire? Hello? I didn't put that down. Did I? Let's get that out of here. This wall needs to not be... Uh, Concrete. You saw it, did you, Jags? I'll take your word for it. If it's on the ground, I placed it. You getting tired? Yeah. Yeah, Shay. Let me just hit the end stream button. <laughs> Actually, I should hydrate. Okay, uh, Sane, what do we want to have for the, um, 
Do I want to just be like the generic, uh, okay, everything's Hello Kitty theme? Or do we go Pom Pom Purin? I mean, Pom Pom Purin makes for a pretty good theming, though. Uh, I think we'll have a mix. Uh, I think the cinema roll wall kind of lends itself to being very apparel store-y looking. And then the floor maybe could be like the uh, Kiki and Lala flooring. It is a cute combination. I do like that. But the hell- no, that's a little too bright. It's a little- Hello Kitty is very in your face. Like, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the desert. That's kind of cute. I kind of like that though. And I like Pom Pom Purn a lot. I think that's got to be it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, um, I need to like redo what I, my plan was here because I need to fit these somewhere. Let's just go to the uh, the Sanrio stuff and start dropping it on the ground and see what works. That I just scrolled right past it, apparently. Uh, Pom Pom Pern for life is life. Heck yeah. High five, Shay. Dunk. Dunk. Yeah, that, that's what high fives sound like, right? <laughs> anyway, let's just toss like uh, some drawers. You probably don't need a bed, maybe a chair. Gotta have the table, the rack, um, the cloud maker, the sofa for sitting down. The tables are, <laughs> ow my face. Shay, shouldn't you be used to that? You're the one who's already going around grabbing people, <laughs> taking <laughs> the violence. You can dish it, but you can't take it, Shay. Too powerful. This is a great design. Look, look at all my stuff just in the corner. That's it. That this is the final design. You can't do anything. Oh geez. I think um, I need to have the takers be uh, no CC shake. I need to have the takers be maybe ten minutes. Cause I, I have Groovin at ten. I think it's it's fair to have the takers at ten. Duh, Jags. What is that face? Who? Duh. Nice. For a second there, I thought the takers are covering chat. Um, I'm, I might need to, if I start making, <laughs> if I keep making all these takers, I'm going to need to like shrink them down or add more rows or something. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to keep dumping stuff until we figure out what we want to do here. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we just have different tables and each table has a different um, mannequin on it. This is going to be very cumbersome if I have to actually shop here. Okay, this is not built for convenience. This is built for aesthetics. I say as I shove it all in the corner. All right. Uh, and then I'll keep the uh, the silly little art table. And I can put my funny little hydrant by the goofy little pom pom purin setup. Uh, yeah, the inconvenience store. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, we should move Lottie out of the way. You've done enough work. Okay. You're about to make the same joke? Well, on the Digger stream, we all have osmosis of jokes. That's just the kind of uh, humor we all have here. <laughs> and I wouldn't have it any other way. Gotta go fast. Jax, please. You're too slow. I do like having the, um the claw game here. But I need to figure out my approach because this is getting messy. Um, should I put an advertisement here for uh, best choice? Best crane game around. Uh, maybe the stuffy shelving can go back here. We can ignore the clothes. Um, what do I want to do? I think... <laughs> what is this mess? <laughs> what is happening here? I need to fix this fast. I have an idea, but it's it's kind of like overly reliant on um, sitting spaces for parents waiting for their kids to get tired out running through. You see, the beauty of the design here is that this is going to be a store that kids can have fun in and the parents can also do their boring shopping. You know what I mean? Where did the clock go? It's over here. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I need to have, um, like, the fun table here. I'll move these out of the way. Never mind, they snap back into place. I'll move these out of the way. Can I put something on top of the Gashapon machine? No. Not quite. 
I need to get rid of the jungle gym or something. <laughs> I can just put it in the corner. Little Timmy can uh, wear himself out there. Uh, we have to get rid of all the boring stuff here. We don't want to go for the basic designs. What's the puffy shirt doing here? This is going to be an open-faced place. You know, you come in, it's supposed to feel like, you know, vast, like an open world, <laughs> an open world shopping experience. <laughs> can you pitch that? Can you be like, yeah, I want to be like Macy's, but you can go wherever you want. <laughs> you can already do that, Simon. Simon, why do you keep giving us these ideas? Stop it, Simon. Sorry, boss. Just thought it'd be funny. Well, don't, Simon. <laughs> Stick to the script. I feel really bad for Simon, the, the fake employee of the open world. <laughs> the open world shopping experience rest restaurant. I think you could toss some restaurant in there too, I guess. I need to figure out where I'm putting my stuff. What am I doing? Here, I have a better idea. Can I put something on the Hello Kitty dresser? The answer is no. Is there an equivalent height thing that I can put things on besides just uh, putting a bunch of these tables around? I mean, I guess I can have... You can't face that way. I guess I could have it in this kind of a layout. Uh, maybe, you know, for theming's purposes, we could have like the Pom Pom Perrin cash register here. Um... What other chair could I use? Is Pom Pom Perrin the only one that has a chair? I mean, uh, My Melody has a rocking chair. Would you want to sit in the My Melody chair rocking? Back and forth as an employee, heck yeah. The question is, can you even fit in there though? Uh, pardon me, uh, excuse me, coming through, uh, can't make it through, never mind. I should clear a path for when I want to test things. A genius. Forgot to move the other table. You can go over there by the family. Um, can you get into the rocking chair? The answer is no, once again. Pom pom perin superiority. So here's what I'll do. Uh, I want to have pom pom perin facing down. So maybe that will be where the register is. Um, and we can have an assortment of the items up front here somewhere. And it kind of like snakes around, I guess. We can have like the, the star over here. We can start putting things down. Like there's the mannequin. Uh, this has to stand up somewhere. Maybe... Maybe these ones, since they're forced to be on top, can kind of like go in the background somewhere. Why do I have the pool here still? I kind of like that. Why is there a pool? I don't know. It's just there. Do I have the Samuel Goodies IRL? Yes, I do, Shay. You know it. Actually, I have one right next to me. And by that, I mean a few inches away. Please hold. Yeah. Can't reach. Here we go. I don't know um, the secret spa. Jax, please. Okay, uh, I have quite a few, uh, but most importantly, here's a little friend I bring out during um, during my chicory streams. Here comes the boy. Hello, boy. It's a little jammy pom pom perin. What does it have to do with chicory? Absolutely nothing. But it's adorable, and I needed something. Look at this little baby energy. Yeah, look at look at how cute this is. I love pom pom perin so much, but this one's got like it's like the little key keychain one. It's got the jammies. It's got the little embroidery. I got it at my local import store. It's so cute. Shay, I'm going to squish it. Shay, watch. Shay, look. Look, look. Look at how squishable. <laughs> it's, so, it's so good. Give it a little squeeze. I look back and I just see this mess. I just, I just had like a, a beautiful little moment with Pom Pom Purr in here. And uh, then I look back and I see the, this absolute anarchy of a design here. <laughs> what, is, what is any of this? How am I going to pull this together? I can do it, though. If I replace all the generic stuff with Sanrio. What other Sanrio stuff do I have? Um, I have plenty of Gudetama stuff. I am a big sucker for Gudetama. Uh, do I have anything close to me? Oh, I have one more thing. I guess I can uh, within reach. This is kind of cheating because it's um, it's San X. You know, like the, um, the, like the adjacent Sanrio. I don't know how it works, but this is uh, a little tiny keychain of Jinbei-san. Not from One Piece. 
This is the really cute little whale Jinbei san. Yeah, the, the San X stuff I don't quite understand. But I won it legitimately in one of the really tiny crane machines. What was your favorite? Let's go, Shay! I gotta get more. Gotta get them. You're not so different, you and I. This one's very squishy. Uh, I got this one, um, you know, the really tiny crane machines with the really weak claws. I got it in $5. Basically, the price you would have paid for it if it was maybe a little more expensive. Did I get it in $5? I think it was $3? I don't remember, but it's like the, the really weak, grabby ones. I was really proud because it was my last token. Quarter? Uh, thank you, Shay. Uh, thought I was dropping something. As long as I'm not dropping frames. Nice way to um, uh, try to remember what else I had. Anyway, um, that has been 10 minutes for March of the Takers. Let's send them off. They marched into oblivion. If I had kept on that Sanrio tangent, I probably would have kept that for like another 10 minutes or so. Boy, he really loves showing his own work. You have three somewhat big ones that are your go-to hug pillows. Nice. They're very nice. I usually stick to, uh, what is, what is that noise it makes? Oh, okay. I try to stick to getting smaller plush toys because the big ones take up so much room, but I love the big ones. I mean, I've used like the giant Kirby plush toy for all of the Kirby streams and stuff. The <laughs> nightmare noises. Yeah, the mochi fluff is really good. Um, like the, especially the club mochi mochi stuff, which I do have, uh, of course, the, uh, the leaf, which is another redeem. If you're interested, you can choose an Animal Crossing item and I will shoulder it for five minutes. I love the Club Mochi Mochi stuff. It's so cute. Leaf! Hi, Running Chicken. Welcome to the stream. I am actually finishing up Happy Home Paradise tonight, apparently, because I made my 30th house and we're working on the apparel shop and then we'll get to party. Then we'll raid someone. But I have to figure out what, what I want to make in this cacophony of a design. I don't... I want it to be a Sanrio shop, but it kind of became really messy. I, I need to figure out like a proper layout for this. Target had the big Kirby. Ooh, the big one. Yeah. 36 bucks. I mean, that sounds about right for like a big Kirby. Huge. Also, Froggy Chair is here. Of course, Froggy Chair is here. Um, I think what I need to do is figure out my mannequin situation because... Um, you can have six of each, or six mannequins total. And only the the head ones can go on desks. You should buy a big Kirby. You should. If that's what you so desire, running chicken. It's a very good investment. Can confirm. Should I go get the big Kirby? I'll get the big Kirby. Why not? It's been a while since the Kirby streams. With Really? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's so big. Oh, Kirby. Okay. I like that I'm trying to, like, you know, get a plush toy during this nightmare music. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. There's the big boy. Yep, there he was in the Kirby streams. He's huge. He's dangly. He's sleepy. Look at him. He's so huge. I had to put him on my shoulder for five minutes multiple times. Thanks, Whispers. <laughs> He's back, though. For, if only for, like, 20 seconds. That's the big boy. This one was 30 bucks. This is from uh, Best Buy a few years ago. Big friend, yeah. I forget who made it. Um, I don't think it was... Oh, it's Just Toys. That's what it's called. I love that emote, Shay. It's so good. Uh, yeah, Just Toys International. This isn't a Sané or anything. This is... Uh, completely different. It just appeared at Best Buy one day. I'm like, yeah, okay, um, I'll buy that. He do be sleeping, though. And now he has rolled to the right, and I cannot reach him. <laughs> oh, well. So much for that. Let's, uh, let's get back to designing this, shall we? How do I want this to look? Um, if we're doing Sene stuff, I could probably get rid of some more generic things. We could at least maybe have, like, uh, like a kid and the mom shopping or something. I don't know. I wish there was, like, a higher table for Sene, like... How do I get this to flow good? 
Is this my favorite Animal Crossing or do I prefer the older editions? Uh, I actually, I do really like New Horizons. New Leaf has a special place in my heart because it, it just has so many more features and I don't know. I would say, um, of course the GameCube one uh, is classic, but it, it's, it's missing a lot of quality of life and all the really cool items. Nostalgia wise, I would say that GameCube's my favorite because I, you know, I, I played that when it came out and I've played it ever since. Uh, New Leaf, like feature wise, is my favorite. And I also I got a lot of good friends from New Leaf, but also New Horizons. I got a lot of good friends from New Horizons was a very important survival tool, <laughs> which is what kind of like it's not really cheating. It like rockets it up for the fact that it came out at just the right time to be like, OK, this was pivotal to my life. <laughs> This was crucial. Thank you. <laughs> also, uh, because it was the first Animal Crossing I streamed, and uh, it's been really fun having this journey. Having, you know, most of it captured. What have I done like? Uh, yeah, GameCube hits different. I think I've done... Let me count here. Um, six, seven, nine. This is my 53rd Animal Crossing stream? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, when you start counting... <laughs> Woo. I love the Genku dialogue, Jags. You know it. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, the villager plots and new leaf give you nightmares. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. That's a lot of Animal Crossing streams. Oh, jeez. All about the content now. How, how do I pull this together? I, I feel like as soon as I got rid of the really high up shelving this idea kind of started like not not like falling apart but it, it needs partitions yes the only way to save this is to add more walls protect the employees the customer is not always right you don't think the customer is always right i don't and i'm tired of pretending <laughs> Make it a maze. I mean, I did that already for one of the places. Oh, this looks good, actually. Okay, I just needed a partition. I, it doesn't connect properly, but I think you need to have a pillar to make it look good. It doesn't really look... Yeah, just make it a big maze. A corn maze? <laughs> Been lost in the corn maze for three days. Where's Jerry? That's a Parks and Rec reference, if anyone got that. If not, I wouldn't blame you, because that quote didn't really come out right. <laughs> it was more of a suggestion of a, the proper quote than anything. Uh. They couldn't find Jerry. He got trapped. Is it time for my uh, re-re-re-re-watch of Parks and Rec? <laughs> I'll do it. What? This doesn't look good, though. Like, it, it doesn't connect properly. <laughs> I might just bring back the shelving, honestly. I think if I can find, like, a, a colorful shelving. Um... I could just do a bunch of Kiddo Kiddo hallways. That might be the ticket? The beams might help? Yeah, uh, I was thinking, like, the pillars could, but... They're a little finicky. They don't always look great. But let's give them a shot. That's a good suggestion. Um, there's only so many colors you can do, too. And that's kind of boring. Yeah, I think that is the connector, but the problem becomes, uh... It doesn't look... I guess it looks fine. I like, whenever I try to explain, like, a justification of something, it immediately looks good. I'm like, uh, duh, uh. No, I, I think we're onto something, Shay. I think this might be working. I just need to not use the marble. I just, I need like a good color, I, but they, they just give you like, okay, here's wood. I, I don't want wood, I want like, why do you give me the wood furniture and I can't color it all the different colors? Why? Tell me. I think the best I'll get is, well, I guess simple. There, see, look, immediately proven again. I love being proven wrong multiple times on stream. I always take it like a champ. I am no stranger to saying that I am wrong. I will say it 24-7. It's okay, Shay. We got this. Check it out. We can have our cake and eat it, too. That's an extra pull. I don't need an extra pull. That I know of. 
All right. So this will be like a tiny counter, I guess. Yeah. Yatta. This will be a tiny counter. Kind of looks a little weird, like having it inside because the employee can't leave. But you know what? You know what? Sure. Sure, golly gosh, why not? Let, let, we'll pretend they can exit to the right. They just have to jump into the pool when the customers come at them. And it's uh, it's a good place to put something, I guess? I, I don't know. What do we want to hide back there? What's a, what's a good thing to hide that you don't want customers to touch? Uh, can this go any further back? Skeletons. Jax, I can't keep putting skeletons in every single room I design. I've done it like six times already. Maybe even seven. There's only so many skeletons you can have in your closet. I think. I love that the pool is just staying here. Froggy chair, that's a good idea, Shay. We should bring Froggy chair back here. You don't want customers touching that. I do like the, the blue one. Personally, I prefer the air. Personally, I like the original froggy chair, but there's something about the, the poison dart frog colors, especially because it's blue, that really just uh, does it for me. What is he gonna be looking at though? What does he see? Yeah, Shay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we wanna put here? How do we wanna lay this out? Um, I like that I still have the skateboards. You know what? I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna look one more time. I'm gonna look again for the booth. I know it's here. I know there's a big booth. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna place it down. It's gonna feel real good when I find it. It's It's gotta be right up toward the top here somewhere. It's pink. It looks cool. Also, I guess we can use some of the patchwork. I love the patchwork furniture. It's really good and it fits in with a lot of funny, colorful things. Maybe a few more ideas while I'm scrolling too. Uh, just ignore the beds. There is a pink booth in here somewhere. I should check the coloring of these actually. They might be more flexible than I thought. Oh! Pastel, hello? Car? Okay, all right, okay. That changes everything. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, that needs more uh, different colors, though. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting out, game. All right. I think, I think I finally have my idea. Bear with me for a second, chat. We're going to move the pool. And remember how I was talking about how this is gonna be a centralized place? Well, we will make it truly centralized by putting it in the center. Kid got in the way. Parent got in the way. Kid got in the way again. I will get rid of you, I promise. If you, so help me, block me again. See how it goes. <laughs> Am I just threatening mannequins on stream? This is gonna be, um, like, in the center, in the center. To make another Parks and Rec reference, this is gonna be, um, this is gonna be like when they put Ron, uh, Ron Swanson, of course, in the, um, the rotating, he, he was in, like, the, the circle desk where he had to keep spinning around to avoid talking to people. Like, excuse me, I know you have a sign that says, uh, yeah, the, the desk, yeah. I know you have a sign that says not to drink, what was it? Don't drink, like, the, the, uh, wow, I'm really butchering this. Uh, there was a sign that said, don't drink the puddle water, and I drank it and I got sick. And he just keeps like, hello? Uh, sir, I'm talking to you, and he keeps spinning around. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm really gonna end up watching Parks and Rec again, aren't I? I'll do it. Anyway, so what I can do now is add in these, kind of move them around a bit. Yeah, here's what I'm going for. I wish you could change the mannequin colors though. They're really kind of, it's bugging me. Also, uh, Jags, if you listen closely to the uh, the sound this crane machine is making, does this not sound like Kitten Around from Jellystone? 
Kitten around, we're just kitten around. <laughs> oh no. Uh, cannon hear it. We can put stuff on top now. So, my concern is that when I finish this design, if I put the, um, the stuff on top, right? If these become uh, stocked with items I can buy, will I not be able to reach? They wouldn't have that, right? Like, they, they wouldn't prevent you from buying stuff. Candy corn colors, yeah. Yeah, Shay. You know it. Maybe I'll put it down here just to be safe. Uh, where did the other one go in this madness? I don't know. <laughs> Head? Uh, spinning it like this is definitely not helping. <laughs> What am I doing? It was on the lily pad, that's right. They would, I guess that's a fair point, Jags. They would be like, oh, I'm sorry, you designed this in a bad way. You can't reach up there. Why would you want to reach up there? That's kind of silly of you. Anyway, what I was trying to go for is I can have this be a centered location. Oh, look at the jiggle on that. Don't forget the ceiling decor. Yeah, I, I always forget too, but I try to remember. Look at the way those jiggle. What it? What? Jiggly? <laughs> Shay. <laughs> Look at those moves. So what I'm gonna do instead? Do I keep the restrooms like that? That doesn't. That's not. I need to have that blocked off. Huh? Ow! Wow! 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 Kitten around. I'm just kitten around. I still haven't watched Jellystone season two. I'm sorry, Jags. Please remind me. I know who else would. Also, Hibby. Where do I. Skateboards? Okay, alright, 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 alright. We're going for this. So, up front is gonna be a bunch of really fun, welcoming stuff. Maybe I can put the jungle gym in the back. Can you imagine how annoying that would be? Okay, so you work customer service, right? You have a fantastic job at the uh, Sanrio store where everything is actually pretty good, you know? People that come into the Sanrio store are more in tune with the brand, they behave well, they're actually pretty nice. And then behind you, you have the pool. And the things you hear, or the jungle gym. Like, you have the perfect job that you love, but there's one thing. Why don't I even have restrooms that's asking for trouble? Jags, if I don't have restrooms, that is asking for trouble. And this is coming from a guy that just made an abandoned convenience store in the desert run by a robot. You gotta have restrooms. Honestly, the worst part was uh, earlier I was choosing the colors. I was like, oh, we can have this be a nice cute color. And we can have it be pastel. And then I realized, oh no. Oh no, I just forced the blue and pink gendered bathrooms. Oh no. You can't do that. You have to accommodate everyone. It's imperative. Don't be that company. Don't do it. Yeah, exactly, Shay. Exactly. Heck yeah. I just wanted to be colorful. <laughs> if they had more colors, maybe. Can you imagine an entire wall of like pastel restrooms? You know, there is a porta potty. Ugh. I'll probably get rid of the restrooms actually. Now that I, now that that's in my brain. Um. So what I'm gonna do? I think what I should do is like try to segment these off. The flag might have to go. Let me check the rugs really quick. I think that the uh, Sanrio rugs are all like circular. Yeah, we can have the different theming sites. <laughs> Shay, no! You can't do that! Oh man. They're all three by three. Uh, this could work. <laughs> Let's get rid of these other things. We'll have different zones. I like that idea. We'll have all the different zones of all the different furniture in them. But not like 
All of them, all of them? Am I about to put my Melody in the restroom zone? I am so sorry. I am so sorry, my Melody. You don't deserve the restroom pool corner of the... Oh, no. This wouldn't have happened if I didn't see the toilet prompt earlier. For, uh... That sounds weird out of context. For, for context... I got the legendary New Horizons prompt from... Who was it? Not, not, not Dealu. It was, uh, one of the crocodiles. It do be looking like a rug in a fancy bathroom. No, it does. I got the famous prompt that's like, here's the guy that wants a, a house full of toilets. And I... I had to resist. Because... You know... It doesn't really lend itself to my kind of creativity. I'm not very much of a, uh... Super duper restroom humor. <laughs> Gotta slam all the toilets everywhere, but it was very tempting. It was super tempting. Just for the, the stream cred, you know, you know how it'd be. I gotta get rid of something here. I think it might be better to have Keto 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 be in the back. Um. <laughs> Running chicken. <laughs> yeah, I'm a party guy, not a potty guy. What kind of a stream do you think I'm running here? This isn't Tinkle Town. Get out of here. I have standards. Except when I laugh at those kind of jokes in um, Chicory. <laughs> Alright. Let's move these out of the way. Good joke, dig it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I totally um, I totally made up that joke just now. I didn't just steal it from Shay. Best choice. Uh, let's see. I need to bring back the, um, the wall. Where is it? I mean... I just had this big discussion, but I would be remiss. Nay, I would be... Irredeemable if I did not place down the infamous Pom Pom Purin rug. Just for you, chat. Right up front. I'm regretting becoming a streamer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes, good joke, Shay. That was Shay's joke. I did not steal it. Thank you. Duh. Uh, I think what I'll do is... How do I make this good? It's kind of off-center, too. Um, let me go grab the furniture again really quick. It's all the way down at the bottom, of course. At least you don't have to do it outside. I guess that's good. So we'll have the hallway here. Um, kind of like the generic wall stuff I was working with earlier. I can just toss to the side. Because I need a spot for... I guess each side or e each location can have its own unique clothing. The problem is... These as mentioned earlier, cannot go on top of things. These are forced to be on the ground, which is a little bit annoying, but I can work with it. I think if I kind of line it up, um, like, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to put it on top of right here. It would have been so good. I'm going to have to get rid of the pool and the restrooms. I'm going to have to do that. Otherwise, this cannot function. Let's set the pom-pom purring table off to the side. Um, I'm also missing the other rug, um, I think? One, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I have them all, okay. Um, I mean, quadrant rise, I guess that's, it'll work out. I, I might have some blank space in the middle. Maybe I'll, I'll just fill it out. Um, Pom Pom Purin can have, I could put the hydrant in there with the froggy chair instead. Hmm. I don't know. A better idea. Generic goes on the side. Pom Pom Purin gets the Pom Pom Purin table. And the Hydrant. Yes. Why does Froggy Chair have a Hydrant? Don't ask questions. <laughs> okay, let's do a little reorganization here. Um, let me shove the Pom Pom Purin thing over there. Um, Hello Kitty can kind of... I think what I'll do is I'll have 
the rugs closer so it looks like they have zones. Um, don't hydrant shame. Exactly, Jags. Don't hydrant shame. How dare you? First, you're forcing the gendered restrooms, and now you're forcing the froggy chairs not to use hydrants. How could you? You sound like a top 10 streamer. <laughs> anyway, let's put the crane machine up front. Because that's fun for kids and not for parents, though. Um, do I move? Well, okay, here, here's the question. Do we have... Do we have the faces in different quadrants? Or do we have the pom-pom purin showing right up front? Like, do we do we want to have, like, these pointing toward where they go? Or do we want to, like, just go go nuts with it? Do we want to just have pom-pom purin? I can't reach pom-pom purin now. Do we want to just have... I can't... Do we, do we want it to be showing in its full glory is what I'm trying to ask here. Is that what we want to do, chat? Because it technically should be in the center, I guess. A little more discreet. But if you want it to just be like, right there, that's totally cool. I just, I can't figure out how I want this to work because it looks a little bit crowded. I think I have a better idea. I want to have the circle ones in the corner and then the smaller one could be up here. That's the ticket. You know, keep it simple. And then in between, we can have the different new clothings. New clothings. There. New clothings. Go down. Go, go into the spot. Go, play, go down, please. Here, there. Okay, cool. It's kind of messy. Goodbye, restrooms. Pool, though. Technically, actually... In the generic corners, I do have room. I could keep the restroom there. Do I even have the My Melody furniture? Is this, is this My Melody? Wasn't that the, the Twinkle Stars, whatever they're called? Wow, I don't even remember their names. Great streamer. Yeah, My Melody's kind of limited. My Melody's just like, here's a bed. Here's a chair. Here's a desk. A dresser, actually, pretty useful. Why did I put another similar roll? I don't know. I guess if you want to lounge around. Maybe I'll put something in the corner. Maybe I'll put the, the vanity in the corner. And you can sit there while you're next to the... Um, already lost track of it. The regular table. Pom Pom Purin chair, let's go. Right, Buka, we are finishing up Happy Home Paradise tonight, apparently. Earlier I said I was on like house 27, and then Lottie told me, wow, you did house 30. Now you can make the apparel store. And now the apparel store is a Sané store, which is centered around the Pom Pom Purin. My bias is showing. I do of course have the Pom Pom Purin plush toy right here, the jammy one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very squishable, very sweet, very cute. Jammies, let's go. So, my plan here is because of these mannequins being forced to be on the ground, whereas the um, the head ones can go on other stuff, is to have them kind of, like, strewn about in logical ways. They don't look just like they're stapled there, but they kind of are, though. And then my concern is, um, if I have to buy these later, Will I be able to, like, walk up to the items, or will they be trapped in for all eternity? I don't know. Um, I should add more people, though. The cool thing about the mannequins is there's a lot... Well, I was gonna say a lot. There's there's only three. Okay. The cool thing about the mannequins is that you can change their clothing! Uh, it's not really like a Sanrio. Three is a lot. I guess. <laughs> kind of. Where do I put these? Um, I think that just having them around adds to the spice. Hold on, let me make sure that these are in the proper corners. Um, this was the Twinkle Star, right? Kiki and Lala. Is this, are they the Twinkle Stars? Is, is, that, is that their name? 
Oh, they got like everything. They have the sofa, like the cloud maker and the, the nightmare machine, as we so gently call it. All hail the nightmare machine. I don't even, I mean, I guess I could just put that in the middle, but there's no room to walk around it. Is there? There might be. Never mind. Hey, don't listen to me, chat. Don't listen. Do not perceive me. I, I am not. I am not streamer. No exist. Uh, the artsy table. Maybe I'll get rid of that. Uh, let me just do a little mannequin check here. Uh, okay. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll have them like down ish surrounded by something fun. Just to get a little bit of synergy going here. Though I, I do kind of wish this wasn't covering. Uh, I guess I can get rid of the the fun chairs. I wish it wasn't covering everything. Uh, better idea. Let's have this down below. So you can actually reach the stuff on the table. Although there's probably no. It kind of looks like they're in bed. That, that's cute, actually. They're, they're going to bed. They're taking a little, little nap, a little siesta, a little sleep. I like that. I lost my train of thought. The, the, other, the other thing I was going to say is just gone now. Whatever. <laughs> uh, each quadrant is going to have something. E each area has its own... Uh, because there's six, right? So there's two in the center, I guess, to kind of accommodate those sides. Maybe have something up front. No, that's not exciting. I just wish you could change the color. The shop gets exclusive clothes sometimes, so being able to access the hats and tops would be good. Yeah, I was expecting that. I just, I wanted to make this a fun design, not like one, two, three, four, five, six, right up front so I can enter in and then I can leave after buying my stuff. You know, I want it to be visually distinct and interesting. So I can at least, <laughs> well, the problem here is I can't see what I'm buying. <laughs> But it looks good. That that's what matters the most, right? I'm gonna make this really annoying to myself to try to buy stuff in. But it's gonna look great. It's gonna be good for the gram. <laughs> Where do I put these? Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, Lottie's here. Just kind of silently judging my work. I want something to complete this ensemble here. I guess I can go looking at the generic stuff. I think I can use like the the long one, like the clothing rack. Just like have like a like a special deal. I mean that's cute, but I guess it works. Yeah. Add a few more little uh, signs here. I do like that. There's so many you can choose. You need to be able to walk to the item and interact with it to buy it. Uh, yeah, that's a fair point. That's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna make this unwalkable. You can't buy anything. This is the discount rack. This is where clothing goes to not be purchased. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like the dog comic, you know, um, like touch. Look, no touch. What am I doing? I want to. I want this to be on the left, and I want that one to be on the right. So that cinema roll has a. Where's the face? There's the face. So that cinema roll has an equivalent uh, table side here, and we can put some cute stuff like some snacks on there. Can you please stop rotating the rugs? I'm trying my darnest not to rotate the rugs, but I keep rotating the rugs nonetheless. You know what? I think I might be boring, chat. I know I promised you greatness, but I think I might just have them all in the same area. Don't worry, I'm not getting lazy, as they say. But... I'll have uh, these two, like, facing opposite sides. So that you at least have a centralized area uh, to walk around. So you can you can hit up all, th all three on this side, all three on that side. And then maybe um, come around for some fun. Maybe have the kid like wandering here. I think the, the funny colorful table has to go. Uh, cinema roll, I wish you had a better place for me to put this. 
Oops, all Sanrio. Cool. So I can actually uh, move this table down. And then have, like, the sofa here for tired parents. Again, kind of like my island, I want this to be centralized. I want everything to be, like, circuit. Like a big circuit. My favorite part is that the pool... Regardless of everything I've done so far, the pool is still in here. Yeah, tired parents. Slash me! Because <laughs> I'm going to be exhausted after being in here for two hours. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to at least change this to a pink. Have it face the right way. Okay. Why is the pool still here? Why is the pool still here? Get out of here, pool! It's not sanitary. It's like putting a ball pit in your establishment. Remember ball pits? Ugh. The horror stories. Uh, okay, so I have that over here. I can move the gosh upon machine up front. I think what I want to do... I want to have just like a fun center area. So what I'll do instead... Well, I want to have a fun side area is what I mean. This will be, like, the, the welcome sign. Over here... I'm just going against my own idea. I just literally had an idea that I am now going against actively. I don't even know who I am anymore. Can I just put this up front and call it a day? No, you can't enter. No. No entry. I do like the dual kitties, though. That's kind of cute. I mean, I guess technically for a Sanrio store, you should have your, um... You should really have all of your stuff up front. You know, like the extra goodies, the claw machines, the treats. Uh, I should hydrate. All that good stuff. And then focus on comfort... Comfort second? That's weird. Uh, this is misaligned, but it's like... There's no way to properly align it? <laughs> Whatever. Animal Crossing. Uh, actually, a better idea. No, I, I was going to say I could make this um, go across. But it does kind of stick out and ruin the aesthetic, so I won't. I might have to get rid of the... Um, the these mannequins are kind of harsh in my vibe. I might have to get rid of them. <laughs> Better idea. Remember that thing I just said? Let me act on it. Welcome to the entertainment entrance! Let's be real. You're entering a Sanrio store. You're not here just for the clothing. You want to buy Gashapon. You want to get plush toys. You want merchandise. And what better place for it than right up front as you enter? Fantastic. We did it. The theming is coming together. Though, uh, technically, I need to provide a little bit more room. Uh, change this to the pink one. And there was one more thing I needed to put down. I'm trying to remember what it was. Hmm. Why aren't the mannequins looking like your villager's body shape? Yeah, um... That was always weird. I know in New Leaf, uh, they had, you know, the multiple mannequins that did kind of fit that a little bit. You used to be able to actually decorate, like, full-on mannequins in New Leaf. You could put on, like, all the Link clothing and put it in your Nintendo room like I did. It was so good. Now you're like, um, here is Child. That's all you get. Child can have suspenders. Child can have robot. That's it. That's all there is. I need to start filling this out a little bit more. Uh, okay. Better idea. I will move the funny kitty cat over to this side. So you can be hypnotized by its allure. You enter in with uh, all the machines here. I should probably move that back as well. Just to give it a little better look. Because um, the alignment of the machine doesn't quite align with the other stuff unless I put it like this and there should be one more thing here um brain do you remember what I was doing 
You wanna just give me like a, a little little hint of, I had an idea 20 minutes ago. You wanna clue me in? There was one more machine I wanted to have down that was related to procurement of goodies. Apparently my brain does not wanna tell me. All right, that's totally cool. I can improvise. I love being blindsided by my own brain on stream. How about a parasol? That's fun. Look at how fun this is, everyone. Don't you like parasols? Look at it. Ooh. Fun. Just drop out my streamer cue cards. Uh, um, what's your, what's your favorite Sanrio? How do I make conversations? The parasol and life in the party. Let's go, Raibuka. I get it. Parasol. Soul and life of the party. Always so good at that. Thank you. Much appreciated. I'm gonna have to go undercover. That's all I got. Uh, which weather is cinema roll? <laughs> uh, where's the shaky fish? Yeah, you have to combine all your different talk decks. You gotta, you gotta make sure that you uh, you get all your streamer cue cards. Uh, shaky fish. You gotta get your streamer cue cards in check, otherwise you won't be able to survive having conversations for longer than one minute. I personally, you can't see it, I personally have an entire third monitor dedicated to my script that I've written totally 100% legit. <laughs> How far can I take that joke? It's it's very obvious that this is all improv. <laughs> no, I mean, um, Dio. Look everyone, it's a JoJo reference. Ooh. <laughs> Muda, muda, muda. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this is a recording. <laughs> Thank you, Shay. It's beautiful. Why don't I have that yet? I have, like... I think I own it, actually. What am I talking about? When in doubt, just make a JoJo reference. Everyone will maybe get it. Otherwise, she'll ostracize your audience. Yeah, the limited edition yellow pom-pom purin roller. You're right. I forgot. Yeah, this is a, like an exclusive to Ami Ami. It's kind of weird because Ami Ami sometimes has items that they don't ship to Japan. Maybe that's just because it's from Ami Ami US, but I'll, I'll go to like a new figure arts pre-order for uh, like a Kamen Rider or a Super Sentai figure. It'll be like, this ships to everywhere except Japan. Isn't that your audience? Isn't that what you are? You'd believe it? <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Shay. Oh, you know what? We should bring in the Hello Kitty chainsaw. You're right. What was I thinking? What a fool. How could I forget? Now, if you excuse me as I scroll through my thousands of items to remember where it was so I can commit to this funny joke. It's going to be totally worth it. I think it's in the miscellaneous. Is it funny hoo-hoo or funny ha-ha? I don't know. But I'm committing to it. Where, where's the Hello Kitty chainsaw? Where is it? I know it's here. That's a ducky. Chainsaw? If only you could search for items. There it is. Let's go! Okay. Work with me for a second here. Will you believe this rhetoric? If I spin you a story of how this is the Hello Kitty chainsaw, would you believe me? You see, it's blue. It's got a red bow on it. <laughs> I mean, technically the white one. It's got a red bow on it. <laughs> Would you believe me if it was just a, it's kind of real though. I mean, look at it, it fits in perfectly. It's the Hello Kitty Chainsaw. Everyone loves the Hello Kitty Chainsaw by Tree. Wait, Tron? Tron reference? Tron reference. I love the way that my socks are just staring at it. I chose the funny socks. And you see, when I chose those funny socks dozens of streams ago, little did I know, we would arrive to this one moment where funny socks look at Tron, the Hello Kitty chainsaw. A sentence I never even believed in my wildest dreams, I would say. And yet, here we are. Thank you, chat. Duh. What? Well, I mean, that's not gonna really fly, but uh, it was a funny thought. 
my concern is that I'm, I think I'm making this door a little too claustrophobic. Like, you, you just barely have enough room to move. But I guess that's fine. Like, there's a lot of stores that are like that. I think if I move the gumball machine to the right side, I might free up a little bit more space. What do I do here, though? I have to put some stuff on these tables. And also do the, the walls and add in maybe some music because, um... I haven't really been putting music into my houses. And uh, isn't there um, a Hello Kitty? Not Hello Kitty. There, there's a stereo. Yeah, if only you could walk around without having to squeeze. So tiny. One of them has a stereo, right? Otherwise, I'll just be using the cute stereo for the 90,000th time. Where am I going? It's down further, you silly goose. It's by the Bunny Day stuff. Everyone loves the Bunny Day stuff. Please, brain... You know what? I'm gonna hydrate. <laughs> Hello, brain. Wake up. There's no stereo. <laughs> Bunny day. <laughs> Shaky fish. There's the lantern, too. I don't think that'll really fit, but I'll, I'll put it down just for now. Uh, I guess we'll be using the cute stereo for the millionth time. It's fine. I'll put it on one of the tables. It'll blend in pretty nicely. Why didn't I just go to the music section? In dingus. Uh, it counts as actual furniture? No, it, it is a miscellaneous, yeah. Oh look everyone, it's the cute music player. I've never used it before in my entire life. You do that too? Yeah. I... <laughs> Same brain indeed, Shay. Our Animal Crossing experiences are unparalleled. Actually, um... Since we have access to all of our items, does that mean I have access to all my KK songs? I should, right? Ooh. What's a Sanrio KK song? Not Wandering. That's I use that for my desert room. Uh, Spring Blossom's a little too on the nose. Uh, my place is kind of too chill. Uh, not Marine Song. Last time you played, you got the DIY for the music box, so you can listen to all the music box versions of the songs. Nice! I forget if I got the music box. I think I did? Bum, ba -dum, bum. I mean, I guess KK Stroll would be kind of like a neutral... I don't know. I mean, I, I should probably try some of the other new songs, too. Slack Key's pretty good. Though it kind of more, like, fits the theming of a Hawaiian gift shop. What will be the new Sanrio theme? I know. This is a tough decision. I am making the call for Sanrio. I'm sorry, Sanrio. You've had your chance to make a theme for everyone. You gotta, you gotta leave it to me now, I guess. No. I'm thinking it might be Stroll or Slack Key. I mean, I mean, it kind of fits though. It's a little quiet. Uh, Momica takers. Oh, we have a Groovin redemption from Rybuka. Okay, let's get Groovin for 10 minutes. Look at the way it slides. I added a transition. Finally, after all these months. Month? And a March of the Takers. Shay, you are really treating us to some Takers tonight. Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Here comes all the Takers I've made. All 10 of them. Let me see if I can move into... I gotta, I, I gotta like, do it at the right time. Curse me with my custom timing that I <laughs> just alternate. I can't I can't keep up with myself. Whoa, look at him go. Look at him. Got a flaunt your art, that is true. I already do that like everywhere though. I used to be really hesitant to be like, do I wanna spam a bunch of Discord servers with my art? And now I'm like, oh yeah, heck yeah. Let's do it. We got me. We got Jen, we got Boo, we got Abby, we got RJ, we got Genevieve, we got Shay, we got Ophelia, and we have Tria. Look at him go. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm making myself dizzy now. <laughs> Not really, but all right, Buka, I still love that Judd emote so much. It's so good. Cool. Uh, I think I forgot to edit the um, the, the taker's text to uh, be the 10 minutes. Oh, trust me, Shay. It took me a very long time to even get to this point. <laughs> I did, I'm like, wait, you mean I can post stuff for other people and not seem annoying? You mean I can, like, talk to other streamers? Like, they, they want to talk to me? Like, they want to do stuff with me? <laughs> me? <laughs> Little old me? How do I get stuck behind the... I'm just charging forward. A true gamer. Yes. <laughs> Gotta go on the offensive. But also respect boundaries, of course. I don't want to... That's the hard part. You know, I don't want to seem too forceful. But at the same time, I just really like meeting new people and talking to people. But I don't want to be too in their face. I forgot I had the skateboards here. Oh, yeah, and the lantern. Let's not forget to move that. Because uh, it's not going to fit in here. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the center of the room is off-center. That was my problem. It all comes back to this. Why is it off-center? Because it is, you silly goose. Cool, all right. Um, maybe I can, like, add people looking around now? Kid's like, duh, look at this. Look at the song. I like the song. Ah. I like the song so much. I got my little suspenders on. Uh, no, let's give him like a kid shirt. Let's give him the pizza shirt. Yeah, look, look at this kid. This freaking kid here with his pizza shirt on. What a gamer. I kind of like that the default for the dress has like a... I was going to say that was a skull. Those are flowers. Pizza time. You know, just for that, I'll, I'll, I'll go for the skulls. That is the true punk aesthetic. Is there an adult man? Is there like, can I make like other people? Is that all I have? I guess, well, I could also put some of the shopping bags around on those tables. Yeah. I love tending to my skulls in the garden. <laughs> Who doesn't, right, Buka? I love them. Um, where can I put these? Just have little, uh, little spots to put your baggies. That's cute. And it's still centered. Um, also, I should put some drinks around. How about a wristwatch? Hey, kid. Kid, you want to buy a Sanrio wristwatch? It's a genuine pomo 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 and pomo pom pomodoro. That's all. Small and dress. That's all you need. Here, this is your dude. Dude, where's my dude? <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> That's fine. Um, where do I want to put these people? That dude is pretty thin. Yeah, he he's he's got to um. What do I do, like a leg day joke? I don't know. I didn't have any material for that. Like, yeah, factually, you are right, Raibuka. You are factually correct. Uh, what do I want to put down here? Let's look for some uh, scrumptious treats. You know, of course, uh, Sanrio. Oh, we could, you know what this could be? This could be like a little lucky bag area. Ooh, ooh, that's good. This is like uh, like when you go to stores and they have a lucky bag full of goodies you can buy. Usually stuff that's, you know, they haven't been able to sell, but... Japan lucky bags are actually really good. Like, I've seen some videos of Amiyami lucky boxes and whatnot, and they've had, like, $300 figures in a box for... What was it like? It was like $100 or something. This is the Amiyami stream. I should pay my Amiyami for May so that I get my Fiku Heart Zen Kaiser and, <laughs> and I don't get that canceled. Buy our lucky bag. $5 for a $100 value. Ooh, let me open my bag. Yay! Dirt. Dirt is number one. Also, I forgot to mention I uh, swapped my emotes around. So uh, my new bit ones are uh, Jar of Dirt 
and I made a new emote that I mentioned this at the start of the stream, but I don't think most uh, people were there. I made an emote for the uh, number one fan funny foam glove that's blue and full of love. Thank you to CC for giving me that idea after doing doodles for me. I now have a first redeem and it was taken by Lettuce. A true, true uh, gamer who's been with me since the beginning. Since the Final Fantasy VI streams back in 2020. Thank you, Shay. Oh, hold on. I have to uh, fulfill my... What I was going to say. I just opened up um, Xbox console by mistake. Why is that on my... What? Um, I did this earlier already, but um, I'll shout out CC again. Why not? <laughs> I always wanted a first redemption, and... Um, those little, the little funny foam uh, finger that uh, CC drew on my doodles was always really cute, so I, I, I took it. <laughs> Hippity hoppity. It was a trade. Xbox on the Switch confirmed, gamer. Thanks, I hate it. Anyway. <laughs> So I have those now. And then uh, for my my highest bit one, I just have like the Diga gift. It's it's like, uh, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to do any of that. Thank you, I'm just happy you're here, but that's for if you go beyond, I'm like, please, please, you don't have to, please. I should make a really exciting one though. Be like, yeah, you wanna buy this, don't you? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're almost done here. What do I wanna put down? A few more little treats and goodies. How about some dango? Oh yeah, the songpyeong. Mm. How about some candy? Uh, the cake? The cupcakes? I could put that on the uh, star table. Uh, that's the, the, the dango's a little too big. Ooh, actually to keep with the bunny theming. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then on the star table, Streamer Digiplus coming, uh, leaks Xbox coming to the Nintendo Switch soon. It's too real. One of these days, you never know. I'll be one of those people. Oh, I like the way that it, it fits perfectly on the, the top of the star, too. Although it's a little obnoxious, I guess. You can't even see, I, I realize that the takers and the groovin may be in the way, but that, they're the most important part, honestly. And I feel like there needs to be, um, I should bring back the art table and then put some stuff there with the uh, Hello Kitty section. Where's my art table? I'm going to put down the, uh, the Hello Kitty chainsaw. I'm not going to do that, but it's funny though. Uh, this is already Hello Kitty theme pretty much. Uh, maybe a white? Oh yeah, I can't change the, the top of it. Door. Genius. Yeah. Can you imagine it's just a road roller coming at you, staring you in the face? What the heck? I wanted to say there were also um, smaller Sanrio items, but I'm blanking, so I'm just gonna put colorful juice down instead. I gotta put down trendy stuff, things that you walk into a Sanrio store, the kind of snacks you'd expect would be like the star candies, maybe some boba. Ooh, boba's good. Mmm, I could put down some boba. Yeah. Um, I think that might be in the miscellaneous section because it's a held item. That was the miscellaneous section. What am I talking about? It should just be up here somewhere. There's a lot of boba. Boba? Yeah, I hate it when I'm in public and someone steps on my foot so I'd be furious if we're crushed by a roller. Just like Splatoon. Oh, duh, the afternoon tea set. That's trendy. Look at all those heckin' cute snacks you could eat. Beautiful. Uh, maybe I could just put this on the ground, actually. Uh, we also need to think about the... Um, the walls and the coloring of stuff. It's been 10 minutes already. Oh my gosh, let's send off a groove and watch it leave. Vanished. And watch the takers dance into the night. Mmm, so smooth. Nice. Okay. Um, 
Uh, I need to put one more thing on the table now that I've moved that. Pet food bowl. No. No, I'm not that kind of streamer. I don't. No. No dog food. No dog food? <laughs> Alright. What else do I want to put on the table here? I mean, I guess generic tea is cute. No dog food, but Pom Pom Purin's gotta eat. You know, that's a fair point. Who am I to deny Pom Pom Purin a delectable, decadent delights, rather? Okay, uh, we need to focus on the walls now. Skateboards? You're still here? All right, now the walls, as usual, don't really have a whole lot of super interesting stuff. So I'll probably just put generic cuteries. Cute, cute, cutitudes. Maybe I'll just have, like, uh, the plush toys, as usual. Uh, what else can we put? There is the glowy stuff, I guess. Maybe each section can have its own um, glow-in-the-dark stickers. So, for example, um, my melody can go here. I've already done this on another... Uh, uh, no, I don't... I'm not going to say it again. I'm not going to say that I've done it already. I've said that too many times, and I'm just going to accept that there will be duplicates, and the duplicates will be done right now. Hello Kitty will get the uh, flowers. I feel like I'm going to run out very soon. Um, the stars. Technically, um, there's the other stars, but I can just use these ones. See, we, we have, like, a cute custom theming here. Um, I should also fix this. If you do it multiple times, that means it's a good design choice. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the ticket. See, these kind of did make their own corner, huh? Flawless design. All right, and then in the center, we have uh, Cinema Roll, who's going to be... Snowflakes, I guess? We'll just kind of have it wrap around, I guess. Uh, fortunately, not here, though. A little awkward, kind of, uh, kind of stuck. Or maybe I... Well, I was going to say I could span these out to be four, but... Probably not the smartest move. Um, we'll just complete the ensemble. And then to the right... Or maybe, instead, we could have the shelving here. So these can alternate. Uh, I'll keep the pink here. Yellow there. And maybe toss in uh, white. And then on the other side, we can use um, the other colors. Sorry, dolphins. I know I just put you down. But I'll move you over here for now. I guess. Okay, activate other colors. That's the wrong item. Activate other colors. Green. Black. Uh. Can't really have unique colors now. Uh, pink. How does that look? That's not looking bad. I mean, it, it kind of clips into the, is that clipping into the umbrella a little bit? I guess that's cool. I mean, why not, right? Looks good. Oh, thank you, Shay. Let's think about the ceiling. I don't... We might not need anything. But we should think about the lighting as well. And maybe uh, we can add an ambiance for uh, busy. Like, um, it's a busy store. Ooh, the dreamy decorations. Ooh, I forgot about the dreamy decorations. They're a little bit obnoxious, though. They're kind of in your face. Maybe if I put them, like, up front? Now it just looks like those reeds when you, you know when you, like, you have to, like, part the reeds to go through a door? Was this the 80s? I wouldn't know, I wasn't alive. Huh. Actually, that was a 70s thing, wasn't it? I don't know. I, I want to say I want to have this surrounding the sides, but that's not really... I think this might be too much. Maybe just have, like, two in the back. That's kind of cute. 
Do I want to keep them pink or do we want to make them pom pom pur and colored? Yeah, yeah, that, that's a 70s thing. That 70s show. But I don't I have, a, have less of a further reference than that. The stream is so cute. Oh, Stella, hi, thank you. Uh, I'm actually finishing Happy Home Paradise tonight, apparently, because I hit my 30th house. And now we're making the apparel shop, which uh, became a pom pom pur in paradise. And by that, I mean a Sanrio paradise. But my pom pom pur in bias is unparalleled. I got that plush toy. Look at him. Little jammy friend. So cute. Thank you, Stella. Thank you. I'm gonna squish Pom Pom Pern in your honor. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks, Ibuka. Yeah, so we're, we're kind of, um, I think we're almost done. I'm trying to decide on uh, some final touches on the ceiling right now. See if there's any more playful antics we can add, and then maybe a soundscape. We can have a cube light for each uh, designated spot, I suppose. It does help. We could have it be color coordinated. This is, uh, I didn't want to just make, oh yeah, the patterns. I didn't want to just make a, uh, oh, here's an apparel store, boring. I wanted this to have, as usual, spice. I wanted it to be exciting, have a cool new design. If I just keep saying cool, it'll be confirmed to be cool. I'll hail the cube. <laughs> exactly, Shay. Heck yeah, let's go. We're not going to be boring. We're going to make this ign... I was going to say inciting? Insight? Hindsight. Exciting. Thoughts? Ooh, this does look good, though. Okay. Um, down here is going to be the stars. Yeah. Confirmed. Sight confirmed. Can we get a shout out for sight in chat? Oh, hey, Cody. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, my gosh. Everyone's showing up toward the end. Well, it's not like at the end, but you know, just, I'm very, I'm very excited. Everyone's here. Thank you. Shout out to sight. Uh, what is sight doing? Let's see what sight's doing on Twitch. I don't know who this is, but I'm going to shout them out. Check out sight. They were playing. No game. Got to see the cool ending. Yeah, everyone show. It's, it's going to be party time. Yeah. Is there really no one on Twitch named Sight? You know, chat. Hindsight is 2020. That, that wasn't even the joke. That's fine. Psych! How is there no one named Sight on Twitch? Oh, thank you, Cody. I appreciate you being here. Oh my gosh. This one's kind of similar, but uh, there's not really a whole lot of stars. Uh, oh no, Cody got blocked by Alamod. Oh, oh no. You heckin' got blocked by the swears. Huh. You've been bamboozled. Huh. Daijobu, Cody. Alamod's gonna get you. Alamod's gonna get the, the, the kill command. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, you bet I was ready for that. You thought I didn't have it? Heck yeah. <laughs> no redacted swearing. Oh, the payoff is so good. Only Boomba's seen it so far. <laughs> of course I have it. <laughs> I am always prepared. Always. <laughs> no redacted swearing. No way. What color was I doing over here again? Oh yeah, this is, um, I guess bows? Uh, we'll just go with like the dots. I'm oddly well prepared for killing him. <laughs> yeah, you should, Shay. I, can't, I have to keep like, I have it like copied and pasted for whenever everyone uh, does it on your channel. Oh, Stella, that was the funniest thing. I was dying of laughter. Um, that entire event, uh, for context, um, how do you even contextualize that for, for people that aren't familiar? Um, basically, there was a redeem that spammed Let's Go for someone, but Boomba forgot to turn off or forgot to put in like a limit for that one person. So we just kept spamming it. It's <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, oh man, that was hilarious. I, I'm still laughing. I, I got to watch that back again. 
Yeah, uh, tomorrow is uh, the horror night. N not because of the stream is scary, but ooh, spooky game. Uh. I'm sorry, I forgot that. Was it Angel of Death? Was that the name? I should memorize those titles. Oh yeah, wait, today's Monday. It was tonight, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What am I talking about? <laughs> Cody, you're making me think that it's <laughs> that today today's not Monday for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I hope that Boombo gets plenty of sleep. A lot of them have been very busy lately, and I hope that they take care of themselves. I hope your computer gets better, Shay. I'm Garfield's best friend. I make people forget it's Monday. It's the funniest thing, right? Like, streamer brain strikes again. Yeah, of course. Live on stream, I don't even remember what day it is. Uh, I guess this can be the pom pom perin one. It kind of clashes. Maybe I can find a better um, striped. No. What year is this? Uh. Um. Hold on. I dropped my streamer cue cards. Who are you? Um. Chat. What's your favorite? Um. Ostrich. How do you answer that? that that's like uh, when when you go to have like a conversation of the day. Kevin, thank you. I'm glad you had a very witty retort ready, Cody. To eat? <laughs> Shay, you can't always resort to violence. That's why we have the kill command. <laughs> Kevin from Up. Technically not an ostrich, but um, that that's a very good joke. I will give you that one. I assume you mean Kevin from Up. If not, I have taken the joke. Pom Pom Purin. I need something kind of chocolatey that also has a yellow twinge to it. Oh, you'll show me the Kevin? Okay. The sunflowers are cute. Better idea. I'll bring these in front of the light and move this to the back. <laughs> Shay! <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but I appreciate the effort. <laughs> Maybe Pom Pom Hur gets two lights. No. Huh. I want this to look... Oh yeah, we have to give one to Cinema Roll as well. Why was that not auto-modded? <laughs> I mean... You got me! Maybe auto mod uh, doesn't bend to the whims of uh, gotten for streamers. When you you gotta you gotta get your streamers. You gotta get them to say silly stuff. <laughs> of whom? That's a good question. My answer to you. I'm gonna hydrate. I didn't have an answer. <laughs> Okay, um, I think what I should do, maybe, I'll, I'll have the light here to complete the synergy of the room to have these all kind of um, on the same playing field? Layer? I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll have the, these generic ones in the middle, too, just to make it look very pretty. Get some generic cuteness in there. Make it bold. I like it. This is very apparel store. Very, very, very. Um, something interesting. Maybe uh, another cutesy design from over here. I guess I could use the puzzle pieces. I was gonna use that as the floor. Thank you, Stella. Thank you, thank you. I think it's looking pretty good. You're covered in termites at the moment. Shay? You okay? Oh my gosh. Oh, you heading out, Cody? Thank you for stopping by regardless. Thank you for the compliments. Oh my gosh. Would you like a free item? Watch this. I can make everything free. Are you ready for this? Bam. The store is free. Anything you want is free. Everything is free. Yeah, I'm really glad the Sanrio stuff got in as well. Everything is free. Everything. 
nothing. I'm gonna have to clean this up, but that was for you, Cody. I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> A little messy. You walk into this store, man, there's gonna be some customer complaints when things aren't free. Yep, just one by one. One by one, they all become a number as they fall. Sorry, there's a Crush 40. That was the, the Metal Sonic song from, you know, uh, Sonic Heroes. Best choice. I already have best choice. Um, This one was number one. Yes. Number one. Okay. So I have the cube lights have eight of them surrounding this big area. Let me show you just what I'm made of. Thank you, Cody. The Sonic Hero soundtrack is unparalleled. It's not false advertising. I didn't say the product is free. It's just a random word. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure um, there's some really funny free shirts. You know, just literally like a shirt that says free. That's it. I guess that's not funny, but, um, whatever. Okay, I'll put this person here. The kid's kind of checking out the radio. I think we're good? I forget, um, oh, how do I, how do I capture this? Um, I mean, I guess I have to have it centered, right? That's the most important part. We're gonna have to uh, cut out poor Cinema Roll, unfortunately. Sorry, Cinema Roll. Um, I guess we can zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, that's looking good. Um, so for the for the improv for when I when we do the video, that doesn't that sounds like generic sin. When they show the final video for this when I'm trying to talk over it. I don't know how long it goes. Cinema Roll's your favorite? Ooh, nice. I didn't know Cinema Roll was a dog for the longest time. I thought Cinema Roll was a bunny. I just wait until the cutscene if there isn't anything there, then mess around the villagers are walking around. Yeah, that's true. He'll never forgive me for this? Oh no. <laughs> for, for not knowing or for telling you? Cinema Roll is a dog. And that made me love Cinema Roll even more. I'm sorry to break this to you, Stella. Newsflash. In fact, I will prove it. I will prove it live on stream. I will prove it... If I can uh, find, like, an official source. Cinema Roll Dog. Cinema Roll Dog website. Dog website. Dog website. I know! I thought it was a bunny, too! Houses go for 30 seconds, so it's hard to clip, but uh, stores? I don't remember either. Okay, I will prove this to you. Um, the official website doesn't say dog. Cinema Roll is Cafe Cinnamon's official mascot. He is shy but friendly, sometimes take a nap on a customer's laps. He can fly through the air by flapping his huge ears. Actually, um, I go to switch these images and they don't change the description. This is the official website, hello? I promise, uh, this is true. Hold on, I'll, I'll get it. I'll find it. Dog Sanrio, the item you discovered. The official profile from the Japanese website. Okay, I think I found it. Sanrio.com.co.japan. I will translate this. Oh, I see Cody has already done the work for me. Thank you, Cody. <laughs> Cinema Roll is a character series created by Sanrio in 2001 with character designs from Miyuki Okumura. The main character, Cinnamon, is a white puppy with chubby cheeks and long ears, blue eyes, pink cheeks, and a plump and curly tail that resembles a cinnamon. Man. I'm sorry to break the news to you, Stella, but that actually made me like Cinema Roll a lot more. Oh, I see your, your Kevin video now. I'll check that out later, Cody. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep this one. Cool. The apparel shop. I think we're good. Um, I will just do my usual improv as we watch the cutscene because I forget how long it is. But we're like, we're done. 
do I want to redo the exterior? Um, no. Just leave it as it is. Whatever. Now, this apparel shop, what kind of clothes are we thinking of having? Now you're heading out. Okay, thank you, Cody. Have a good one. Take care. See ya. Pom Pom Purr and Matt is off to the right. Did that not move? All right, Buka. Oh, I can't go back now. It's fine. It's... I forgot that the rug doesn't move when you grab everything else. Hi, Shay. Guess what I forgot to do? When I moved the center, it didn't move the rug, so now it's off-center. And I can't go back. I can't go back. We have to do this live. Um, what kind of clothes are we thinking of having? Um, I mean... Well, I, I can edit it again. It's just like... It's gonna look silly for the video. Whatever. <laughs> well, he's thinking about the content. <laughs> um... I mean, anything, I guess? Is this like a choice choice? Is this gonna impact? Is, is this like a... Um, does this matter? Um, I guess I'll stick to cute. Uh, Ward will know later. I'm locked in until after the party. It's fine, Shay. It's just gonna be slightly off center. You know what? Here's how I can salvage this. Because I planted a seed earlier. You see the fire hydrant? Now it's covering. Bingo. Oh, you can always change the clothes around show. That's cool. I assume if you choose everything, it just rotates through all of it. I don't know what exclusive stuff there is, but we're going to find out. Let's decide who will be working here. Oh, oh, actually, can I? I probably can't use an amiibo card. I have to choose someone who's already. Uh, Panchetti? Someone I've already helped. I mean, Pippi is a very Sanrio esque character, right? We just helped Pippi. I think Pippi's pretty cool. Is Pippi the only one working here? It's kind of rough. Anyway, um, we do have the Sanrio clothes down here somewhere, I think. There are Sanrio clothes, right? I remember something of that effect. Here, have the bunny shirt. Ha, <laughs> get it? The bunny has the bunny. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Oh, so clever. Uh. Oh, I passed him. Thank you, Shay. There it is. Drip. Drip. Premium drip. Let's go. Now we got to have a little bit more fun here um, with the boppers. Just don't turn it around. I see. I mean, the tail's covering it up, though. <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> Has some boppers. Birthday shades. Yeah, see, it's 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 totally it's all it's all good. Oh, now this look screams I'm a fun employee. Please talk to me 24/7. I love my job. I am the only one that works here. It is great. Uh, I mean the anime eyes though. I mean kind of like them. I could do the Shea eyes. Shea likes using these ones. The silly glasses. Why? Blah! Freaking zero two in here. Hello. Would you like to buy Sanrio products? I'm gonna hydrate. Woo! Anyway. <laughs> what's a good, oh, that's actually pretty good too. Uh, what's a good Sanrio? I mean, the silly glasses are pretty fun. I might just stick with the, uh, the anime eyes because that's coward. <laughs> You're calling me out, Shay. Live on stream. I mean, it, it is tempting, though. I'm thinking more along the lines of these are the glasses and boppers they would sell in the store. So you'd be like, oh, ha, funny anime eyes. It's fine. Well, now I have to select them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
Oh, but what color though? Uh, probably pink. Uh, I think that's good. But I'll always remember how I didn't commit to the bit. Pink. You like the brown? You know what? Stella, you're right. What am I thinking? Brown fits in with the pom pom purin coloring. Thank you so much. That would have been quite the blunder if I do say so myself. And my eyes is what you'd stick on a tired employee's face to make them seem friendlier. <laughs> Just like, oh, Ted's been here for a 14 hour shift, but he loves, loves working in customer service. Thank you, Stella. Perfect. Beautiful. We did it. We're done. Let's do some improv. Before we do this, we need to give our new repair shop a name. I think I got it. Completion, let's go. I don't know if this will fit. Actually, can I use the name Sanrio? Isn't, am I getting in trouble? Listen, all this effort just to be taken down by a copyright for using the name of the brand in my store that I own. <laughs> can I say Sanrio? Not Sanrio. Uh, we could be like, um, Span, 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 Dro, Span, Drog, Span, Drog, Span, Drog, Cloth. What is this? That's the B button. Yes, I will give it a name. Comic Sans Rio? <laughs> San Rio? <laughs> Let me take you to San Rio, San Rio. San, San Rio. San, San Rio. I mean, I think I should just go for it. You know, if I, if, if my store gets taken down, I gotta take the risk. Sans real confirmed? San Relio. How about like, um... We could do like, like those import stores that specifically sell all the merchandise, but their name is generic. It's fine if you don't put it in offensive. Yeah, but Stella, what if San Rio comes after my in-game store? What if all this work gets shut down in-game? Free marketing, that is true. I'm just gonna go for it. Pom Pom Peril! Raibuka, you son of a gun, you are amazing. Pom Pom Peril. Pom Pom Peril. No, Stella, they're not literally gonna come after me in the game. That's a joke, I'm sorry. I don't mean like an actual strike from the company. I mean like, jokingly in-universe. Pom Pom... Um... Pom Pom per Peril. Pom Pom Peril. Um, I mean, apparel... It sounds like he's in danger, though. Pom-pom apparel. Pom-pom-pom apparel. Pom-pom-pom apparel. Here, let me, let me check this out really quick. I forgot how to spell apparel live on stream. It's two Ps. That way it'll be no peril. Pom-pom peril, um... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Magical Star. You definitely like the name Pom Pom Peril Star. Yes. I love Pom Pom Peril Star. We have ourselves a name. Let's get to the improv. Let's go. I'm gonna sell us. Welcome to Pom Pom Peril Star. The loveliest apparel shop you've ever seen, full of the most glorious Samuel merchandise. Up front, there is a Gachapon machine full of plush toy friends little goodies. There's a little discount right in the back, but I didn't want to show that off yet. Because at the front, there's a lot more cool things to show. There's a lot of clothing. Here is where the person tends to your every will, but you can't see him. Moving on. If we get a few more better shots. Is that it? 
that's the hardest part about these is that you get like 30 seconds to do a sales pitch and the camera angles do not work with any of the the, the freaking dividers oh geez 30 seconds most of it well yeah that's the thing right buka it's just like i like partitions but boy do they ruin my videos <laughs> my content no, it's fine. Anyway, we did it. Here's your new shop manager. And a lot of customers. It's gonna look outstanding in photos. Cool. Let's walk around. I forgot to do a soundscape, but we don't need it. Hi. Shouldn't you be um, at the counter? Don't you like the counter? Don't, don't you want to sit on the pom pom purin chair? Doesn't it make like a little burp sound? Little burp. So you can, you can come over here, try to win yourself a very nice plush toy, but as usual, doesn't quite work out, does it? Check it out. Look at it go. Oh, you almost got it. You spent 700 yen so far. That's not a lot. But you can always win at the Gashapon machine. Maybe get like a little um, bracelet or something. Okay, cool. So it looks like it does populate the uh, specific parts with things you can buy and it does have don't turn off the light rude oh no oh no oh, there's still a free sign oh my my company is in shambles don't look chat don't look at the free sign nothing is free oh, a controversy day one man oh i can't believe it uh, shaky fish oh the big launch was ready to go and wouldn't you know it, there's a free sign still sitting there. Looks like I am going to be bankrupt very soon as all the angry customers come to the front of the desk where there's only one person working, mind you. Maybe they won't see it. It's back here by the discounts, right? Right? Should be fine. Should be fine. Huh. Chad, do you have any money? I'm broke. <laughs> you got... Yeah, got, got a little, little... <laughs> you got some, uh, not bells, because that's not the currency in Paradise. Uh, you, you got some, um... Streamer Brain? Why are you forgetting the name of the currency? Streamer Brain? Hello? Currency, it, it's called... Lost it. You didn't tell me what you want to do yet. Sorry, Lottie. Jeez, calm down. We're gonna have a party. Pokey! Popped right back in. Let's take that celebratory photo and get to the party! Dun dun dun. I'm really excited to see what happens. Can't believe that 10 seconds of my last video was the wall. Oh yeah, so here's the outside. I had, my inspiration for doing all the Sanrio stuff was solely because there was a funny window that had like a party set up. Kind of looked a little clownish. And that's how we ended up at that um, hour-ish tangent. <laughs> and here we are. Celebratory photo of Pom Pom Peril Star. The star is for magic. Yeah, they let you customize the outside and uh, this specific store had uh, like nine windows to choose from and one of them was this overalls colorful looking, there's a present back there. You can't see it because a lot of it. You can kind of see it, I guess, but. Anyway, we're here to celebrate Pom Pom Peril Star. The star is from magic, nothing else. We did it. Finished all the work on Pom Pom Peril Star. I kind of wish I had put the star next to the L, but it's just like a fancy designer label name, I guess. You finished the development plan for the island. It's been so much hard work, but just think of how many folks will enjoy visiting here. Nice. Gotta hear from me again. <laughs> a few words. I always choose I'm saying some words. I'm saying some words! Ha ha ha! Aren't I funny? You pay money for me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's get that nice photo going. And uh, let's see here. Maybe we can add in uh, a little bit of fun. Get that, like, bright coloring. Ooh, I like the neon. Ugh, not the bulbous, though. It's too bright. Say fuzzy pickles. 
That's going in the credit reel. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. I think it's perfect as well. Heck yeah. Silent clapping. Okay. I don't know where we're going from here. Oh, pizza party! Chat, we're having a pizza party. Let's go. Oh, pizza sounds really good. Ooh. Oh, man. Now the facilities are complete, we can finally hold our special event. Been a long road to get to this point, but time just flew right by, didn't it? I say as I've taken months and months and months to get here. Celebration pizza! Let's go, Stella! Let's have that delicious meal. Um, maybe I should go get some pizza from Taco Bell. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Anyway. <laughs> we got a party to do first. Making sure I've gotten lively around here with the vacation homes and all the amenities. All that good stuff. Yeah, that too, Stella. i am treat myself. <laughs> but we gotta uh, have the party tonight. And then raid someone, of course. For our client's gratitude, yes, but we were only able to come this far because you all worked so hard. Nico, Wardle, Diggy, I guess. Thank you so much. Oh shucks, it was nothing. Mm. Why the frown though? I wouldn't be like, no, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Me whenever I get a compliment. Ah! Just melt. <laughs> and now, uh, I guess we're leaving the pizza behind? Let's head over to the venue for the special event! We actually are- we, we beat Paradise Planning tonight! I have no idea what's gonna happen except for what got spoiled for me. Uh, neon shades, hello? Glowing flowers? What's that noise? Oh! Chat, feel free to spam any and every dance emote you have. No holds barred. Do it, whatever you want. Let your dreams come true. DJ KK's in the house! DJ KK is here to groove! Yeah! Get dancing, chat. Do whatever you want. Spam it. Spam your heart's content. You have full permission to go wild tonight. Oh, March of the Takers! Oh, Shay, thank you. Let's go! Oh, this is a bop, though? And grooving! Yeah! Let's take a screenshot of that real quick. Let's take it down! Oh, uh, oh yeah! This is really freaking cool! Oh, it shows all my houses, too! Yeah. This is really cool. Yeah, break it down, chat. Oh yeah, uh, I gotta press buttons, forgot about that. That's a thing you can always do. Is this an actual KK song you can get? Probably not. Yeah, go Stella, go Stella. Look at all the dancing. Static on his throne. Oh yeah, the House of Chills! I never showed that one off. Scary. The Donkey Kong House for Louie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, the party space. Perfect timing. These are kind of the earlier houses. Oh, thank you, Stella. I've done a lot of houses. I promised I would show them all off. I should probably do that at some point. Oh, light speed recovery. It's not suspicious. Pee Wee's gym was not super exciting, but that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Oh, I like that peeking though. That was funny. Pom Pom Peril Star, yeah! 
looking really good. Switch it up now. Don't keep the groove the same. Yeah, you can get that fist pump going. Yeah. I like this angle, actually. I'm going to take a picture of that. Thank you. Woo. Okay, that was really good. Man, it's definitely not over yet, I think. That was, man, that was sweet. <laughs> My gosh. Now that was worth months and months of doing like one or two houses a stream, wasn't it? Wow. And then KK sinks into the ocean. Oh, just like Godzilla. <laughs> back he goes into the abyss until they bring back DJ KK for the next game. Back in my day in New Leaf, DJ KK was available in the, the, the wonderful club and the shrunk funk shuffle was there. Yeah, sure, Grandpa. Let's get you to bed. Is I dancing or what? Yeah. Oh, and the party's still going. Yeah, we're not done yet. Who's the guy on the floating booth? It's DJ KK. Definitely not just KK. Man, Wardo knows people. My gosh. DJ KK's a friend of mine. Oh, man. Amazing! I think I partied too hard. <laughs> no. Never enough. Maybe he can have his autograph for me. Wow. I like that, um... The takers are almost in sync with the music. Is that Imperial KK playing right now? I love DJ KK. I love when they used to do the remixes in New Leaf. I miss that so much. This is quite the treat. So the uh, the spoiler they posted, like, I think it was either Lottie or Isabel posted it on the official Twitter account. They're like, hey, here's a party. Like, th thanks. Um, I mean, I wasn't near the end of it yet. I didn't know there was a song, though. That's pretty cool. We should get to the party. My gosh. We gotta keep making homes. I mean, I'll I'll probably still do um, some streams every once in a, once and again every once in a while, but I really wanted to just beat it, and we did it. No, wait, the party, go back! Don't give me money! Take me back! I wanna go to the party? No! Come back, party. Well, I guess the stream title came true. No party. I, I can't do that right now. <laughs> Here's your payment for the apparel shop. 25,000 pokey. Heck yeah. Oh! Left some products to the music festival at the apparel gift shop. Sure. Take the rest of the day off and go let loose. Yeah, we still got the party to do. Take me back. Dancing your heart out is a great way to express yourself. You should go dancing. I think I will. I learned a few dance reactions. Oh! Hello? Exclusive? Um, okay, well, that was worth the payoff. Wow, sweet. I can't wait to bust out these moves. I don't even know which Digga on stream is the real one. Which one is it? They're, they're exactly the same. Literally, exactly the same. <laughs> okay, well, let's immediately uh, ignore the mushroom pizza. Let's immediately go to the reactions then. Um... I was wondering what all those empty spots were. Hello? Grooving hop? Oh, that's nice. Groove right. Ah. Groove left. Da da Soak it in. Praise the sun? Yeah, look at Lottie go! Well, I mean, not right now, but, you know, a few seconds ago. Yeah, these are the exercise ones. I don't know if I'll get those, because, honestly, doing the exercise 50 times is a little too much. 
doing it once was enough for me, basically. Mm, but soak it in. It's beautiful. I can't go that far because uh, you can't see it on the camera. I get you, you kind of can, I guess. <laughs> soak it in. <laughs> the vibes are immaculate. I'm going to have to reorder some of these. Moving on, uh, side to side. Ooh. Nice. Island Stomp. Yeah. Airplane? Yeah. Oh, if I could do that while running like the villagers do, that'd be pretty sweet. Twisty Dance? Oh. Turnip patch? Turnip farmer? A shimmy. A gentle shimmy back and forth. Turnip patch. Ooh, ah, hey. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Wow, I'm getting my exercise tonight. Oh my gosh. And the arm swing dance. Okay. Okay, that one is really good. Oh, that that is fantastic. That might be my number one. Look at how perfect that is. Let's go party. Man, I can't believe I did it tonight. I probably won't go to Harv's Island because it's already been long enough, but like, man, let's go party. Uh, actually, the apparel shop, that's right. Um, I'm assuming that the party stops when you leave. I hope it, I would hope it would go on forever, though. Hey, Pippi, we have... Really good items from the festival at Pom Pom Peril Star. Hello, Pippi. Looking good. Today's the music festival. It's kind of giving me butterflies. I'm legit quivering with excitement. Let's go dancing? Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna. That's enough of that. <laughs> Yeah, you're the only one working here. What can we buy? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Neon shades. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. What is this? Tropical cut and sew tank. Uh, it's been 10 minutes, but I'll leave the groovins and groovin' and takers up. It's a party, you know? This is a big deal. Pedal skirt. Man, so much party stuff. What else we got over here? Ooh. Paradise planning event tea. Sure. Yeah. You almost don't notice that the rug is off center and being censored because of it. It was my ingenious plan this whole time. <laughs> got him. Denim cutoffs? That's not a party. That's pants. Are those new, though? Ah, whatever. I'm buying everything, whatever. Regardless, we're partying tonight. No expenses spent. Light up flower crown? Heck yeah. Let's go. Okay, Biff. Whatever you say. Enough of that. Let's go party. Actually, we could bring P Pippi, I guess. Let's go. Wait, is this a personal invite? I thought this was like a general invite. Like, you want to go dance? Oh, okay. Party break. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you can start the party whenever you want, maybe? I just wanted to see this song again. Hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. Um, you can relive the magic of the credits then. Okay, well, we, we've, we've seen that. So, we're gonna go to the actual beach. And groove. Oh, oh yeah, everyone is here. 
I mean, we should join the festivities, though. Yeah! Oh, this is so freaking cool! Can you talk to everyone? This is a lot of unique dialogue. Uh-oh. I'm gonna be reading for a while. I wonder, it does show their house too as well. Uh, Stinky had like a wrestling ring? I guess I'm showing the houses now. Stinky had a wrestling ring. And I made it like all flamey and cool and stuff. Hey Stinky, what's up? We're just here to chat. There's Maple, I uh, gave her a cute little big bear house. Yeah, the drip is unparalleled, Stella. There is just drip everywhere. Oozing. Look at that KK shirt. Can I get that, please? Stinky? Can I have your KK shirt? It probably alternates um, stuff you can buy. Uh, speaking of uh, shirts and neon and stuff, Stinky is rocking it. Stinky looks great. Uh, here's Vladimir. I made Vladimir like an underground lair. So they, they all mostly say um, the usual stuff. But some of them have new things to say. Oh, do you see the back of the KK shirt? There's little music notes that have like glow in there too. Uh, Megan just had like a, a cutesy little flower house. It was one of my earlier ones, not super duper exciting, but it was uh, still cute. Twiggy had the birthday house. You already saw this one, I think. Yeah, it was, it was during the, the credits, but I made like a little birthday bash location. There's like a VIP, a lot of color. Didn't have a lot of items to work with back then. Started from the bottom, now we're here. What's happening? Hey, Groovebox! Welcome, we're partying! How's it going? Good to see you. I just beat Happy Home Paradise, and we're just dancing. So, perfect time to come in. I finished my 30 houses, finally. And now we're just grooving. Which, are very appropriate, because uh, your grooving will also help us here. What else we got? There's Snooty. Haven't seen a live DJ in ages. Nice. Here's Cat. Oh, you know what would be great? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We gotta leave the party just for a very temporary moment to get something, an item that anyone who goes to music fests or, uh, you know, any sort of concert like that would be very familiar with something that is pivotal to the celebration to the moving to the grooving something that will shine a light on the situation if you will that's the wrong button i stopped myself fortunately we wanted to go to the storage let me just put these away really quick um i will keep my sword i, I bought a sword earlier chat don't worry about it <laughs> don't don't worry about it <laughs> don't worry about it Anyway, let's not put away my regular clothes. Also, B is here, by the way. B's been in my inventory the whole time. So, something crucial that you need for a music festival, of course, is a light stick, right? But I have the special colorful light stick that swaps all the colors. You know it. Let's freaking go. We're gonna shake it. We're gonna go nuts. We're gonna go crazy. We're gonna party the night away. And by that I mean we're gonna probably be at the concert for like maybe 10 more minutes or five, whenever, and then we'll raid someone. <laughs> I gotta soak it in though. It takes a long time to make 30 of these houses if you're not um, just messing around. Like you, you just speed run it. All right, let... Anyway. Let's talk to some more people. We got Drake here. A lot of dancing. 
Here's Chester. I made Chester a very nice bamboo locale. <laughs> no glow stick. Yeah, I know, right? No glow stick? Trust me, I tried to equip it, but apparently the answer is no. Wazaka! Wazaka! Okay, Chester! Can you imagine not being able to use your glow stick during a festival, during a party? Ridiculous. Ironically, Chester said I'm a good listener while I was mashing B. Uh, Prince has one of my favorite houses, the Pacific Rim House. I made this giant, big, like, you know, kaiju face-off. That was really fun to do. Oh, look, Prince is saying the exact same thing, because they're good friends. They're definitely not sharing the same dialogue pool, right? Definitely not. But it doesn't matter, because we're partying. Let's go. Oh, Zoe's house is really cool. That was a lot of fun. That was the the four quadrants, um, different colored, cool. Um, I forgot what the actual name was. That's why I was just saying words. Music festivals are so much fun. The beats really got me moving, Zuzaru. Yeah, let's go. Feel free to spam any grooving dancing emotes you want, chat. We are having a grand old time tonight. Did they actually say, like, music stuff when I talked to them again, though? No, they're just complimenting. That's nice. Oh, man. Those are really good, Groovebox. Get grooving. There's Eric. I didn't help Eric, unfortunately. I don't know where to sign up for the contest. There's Gale. Very sweet, Gator. Um, I think that's everyone here already? Uh, we didn't talk to Gigi, I think? Gigi? Yeah, that's the Tigger Groove box. Let it all out. Shake it all over the place. I should probably help because I have, um, like, an insane amount of emotes. A, a ridiculous amount of emotes. Here, I'll, I'll help spam too. Yeah. Go Wigglies. Go Wigglies. Go Wigglies. I don't need to spam the takers because they're already on screen. <laughs> Let me see how many dance emotes I have. Let me uh, go up front here first. Yeah. What do I have? Um, there's mine, of course. Uh, I'll ignore the takers. Oh, uh, these. You're going to bed? All right. Thank you for joining, Shay. It's always good to see you. Have a good one. It is kind of late for everyone. It's hell of juice. It's pretty late for me too. Huh. I should really, um, I should really uh, find someone to raid if anyone's still streaming. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just. Um, I think we're good. I don't want to cut the party short, but like, I think we got most of it. Good night, Shay. Rest well. I mean, I'm just gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear this until the next time I turn on Animal Crossing. It's gonna be really funny. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we're good. Whew. What a party. Let's let's head home for, for now. Man. I gotta, I gotta head out, too. I gotta find someone to raid. Dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun. I can't believe, ironically, I beat it. Oh, there, no, there's plenty of people to write. What am I talking about? Who am I kidding? <laughs> of course there is. Whew, all right. Let's go home. Let's go home and find someone to raid, and then I'm gonna... I need to eat food. <laughs> I need to, like, hit up Taco Bell or something ridiculous. I'm just gonna switch really quick. See who we can raid. Um, Let me think of a raid message as well. Um... Do I want to do something generic like I beat Paradise Planning Raid? No, it's got to be like a DJ KK Raid or something. DJ KK in the house. DJ, DJ KK 
DJ KK in the house. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out in a second. Let me see who's live. A lot of people are live. Let's see who we got here. Uh, Mil is doing some art. Uh, Sen is still playing some Super Mario Brothers, uh, playing some banjo earlier. Oh, there is Cuban Momica playing Persona 3. Oh, it's always fun. Um, let's see. Uh, don't worry about Rolf. They, they like to barge in. Um, Cars playing Chrono Trigger again. Um, Tria's still playing. Did you, Rolf? Did you? <laughs> Rolf, did you? Did you just show up and leave? Okay, I was gonna say, I thought you just like left, left. Okay. Um, who are we gonna go for tonight? Uh, Maya is playing Omori. Uh, probably don't want to raid into Omori though. That's um, it's an interesting game. Kind of a little funky. Um, I think we're just gonna. Do we go for Cuban Momica? I think so. I did want to raid. Send, but I was there earlier already. Oh, it's so tough. So many amazing, cool, talented streamer friends to raid. Um, I think we'll go for Cuban Momoka. Assuming that they're three hours in. Um, yeah, I, th I think they'll be good. Yeah, they're playing Persona 3 Fez, so uh, we're gonna. What's a good raid message here? Um, uh, should we do DJ KK in the house? Um, is that a little. I don't know. I don't want to be like a, I don't want to spoil. Is that really a spoiler? Are they going to, uh, I don't know. Um, pair, pom, 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 purin raid. Pom, pom, purin, pom, pom, purin, pom, pom, purin censored raid. <laughs> no. Um, pom, pom, purin, we'll do pom, pom, purin raid. How about that? Uh, let's get some takers in here. Uh, okay. So we're gonna go raid Cube and Momoka. And we're gonna have the message be Pom Pom Purin Raid. If you don't have my emotes, feel free to use whatever you want. Let me just double check one more time real quick. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I mean, we beat Paradise Planning tonight. I can't believe it. I did not expect that at all. Well, thank you very much for showing up, everyone. And, um, gosh, um, that might be it for Animal Crossing for a little while, but uh, we'll move on to some other stuff. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I'm going. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.